Welcome to Trash Talk. I'm Lane. I'm Chase. Uh, Naked Jeff. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lane. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Thanks, Edward Penis Hands, for, for remembering my birthday in a couple of days. When is your birthday, anyway? It's Saturday. Saturday? Yep. Uh, it's going to be 35. 69. 69. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I thought it was Sunday. I wasn't sure. I think as long as the 6th is Saturday. 6th is Saturday. Yeah. Yep. It's my birthday. So we're going to zoo? We're going to the zoo. You going to the zoo? Yeah. You see the gorillas fling shit. I'm bringing the kids. Um, oh, at least like some little monkeys flinging some shit at Chase's kids. <laughs> I'd like that too. Or like the tiger <laughs> to like eat one of them, maybe. No, no, what the you know fuck? What that's that. fucked up. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know if the seal exhibit's ready at the zoo? I don't. Uh, the website said what was open and what wasn't, but I don't remember. I think the bears are still closed. The seat lion is open. I seen it when I went there for. The nighttime zoo. Hmm. Nice. What nice. about the gorillas? It's fucking. Gorillas have sweet. always been open. Is it? The new habitat is fucking amazing. Hmm. Like it seems like a theme park when you go in there. You can swim with them. No, but uh, like you can walk all the way around it. You know, like before it was just you came up to the front rail or whatever, and you could see them in there. Like now you can walk all the way around. Like there's trainers there, interactive, f- feeding them and doing shit with hmm. them, and then. Like, you can go down below and look through the water and see them swimming and stuff. Wow. You think we're going to get some dolphins soon, then? <laughs> I'd rather get a panda. Ah, it's owned by China, though, still. So is half America. <laughs> Seals? <laughs> that is quite true. Quite true. Have you ever seen the... Uh, uh, what's that SeaWorld movie? Or Will- Free, Free Willy? Willy? Willy. Oh, not the movie. <laughs> the fucking... Uh, oh, Andre. The seal? Black... Oh, something yeah. blackfish yeah no i have not seen it but it's i know what you're talking about up. it's fucked up yeah that makes, makes you, you not want to go hate sea world yeah actually yeah yeah it's really fucked up magic of film make you feel but it's things. crazy how them wills get treated killed them people oh well, yeah but they I mean, said they've only killer wells have only killed people in when they're in captivity never and in not the wild. in the wild yeah. Hmm. Well, that's because we don't go into their space probably in the wild that often. Uh, they I do mean, swim with them. The I know. seals and stuff are coming from land. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying you figure yeah. like maybe one, someone would get killed by a whale. Just eaten by one? In the wild. Or, I mean, hmm. I mean, Jonah got I mean, eaten Fucking by cows whale. kill people sometimes. A fish. Giant fish. Or whatever. That's what it but says in the Bible. It says fish the, in the Bible. Isn't it called Jonah in the whale? No, he got swallowed. He didn't die. They think it's a whale because it's like, well, how could he get eaten by a fish? Probably a whale. Could be a whale shark. Could have been a fucking kraken for all I care. It didn't happen. It's a catfish. It's just a Prove story it. about loving God. Prove it. <laughs> Prove anything in the Bible, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Besides the burning bush. That was real. Obviously. Bible talk. I'll burn your bush. Yeah. Um, you get, they test for that. <laughs> oh, shit. Who? Doctors. Hmm. All right. For what? Burning bushes? Yeah. You can get tested for burning bush. Burning the crabs <laughs> off? <laughs> that would be a way to do it. I used to work with a guy. <laughs> he got, got, got crabs. And I guess he shaved... Sprayed raid, oh, oh, raid? God, all over his dick. No, and then wrapped it in duct tape and left it there for like a day. Does he still have a dick? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I guess it worked. Does he doesn't deserve one? <laughs> his dick doesn't work anymore. Oh, but just, just think of shaving and then spraying your crotch with raid. I mean, uh, shaving alone will fix the problem. You know, yeah. If there's no hair for him to hang on to, they can't. Uh, but I could see them. Living a little bit on shade. I think their eggs can stay there for a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they can. They can just move to like your leg hair, temporary or something. You know, uh, hair. Yeah, <laughs> I, you might be right. I thought there was three different ones because like Speaking lice of, are the you, same, uh, <laughs> same, same like species. They just live in your hair, right? Yeah. You know, and then crabs, crotch hair. Crabs are the light, like the. Lice, pubic but pubic lice. lice. Right, and then I think you can have body lice, too. Oh, shit. Fleas. No. Scabies. I don't, is that a bug? 
No, it this is like a rash. They live in your no, skin. It's uh, yeah. What? Inside of your skin. They burrow into your skin. Oh, and you fuck. itch really bad, and you gotta take uh, some sort of medicine to yeah throw get them a, out. Get them out. That's but, fucking disgusting. Yeah, you gotta leave the crack den and go home for a while, and take a shower. Yeah, exactly. Well, so you've speaking from experience. You've had crabs too, though. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I was going to get a STD and I know crabs really aren't, I mean, I would take the crabs over anything That's because you just buy a shampoo for it. Yeah. It. And just play with your wiener. I've caught something before. <laughs> yeah? Crabs? Crabs? No, I just went in the doctor and I had to stick a fucking Q-tip down my dick hole, which Ugh. is really... Yeah. God damn. It's, it's not fun. I heard the nurse like hold my dick and then the guy was... Shoved it oh. in. Yeah, and I just looked in the air like, fuck me. <laughs> I just looked in the air like, fuck me. Hurry the fuck up. At least she's grabbing and my I dick. I just feel it go <laughs> in your pee hole. Like that you much. pretty much described a COVID test. Yeah, I was say, just like, like swirling cool. around in the back of your nose, but in your dick. Yeah, I'd rather have a COVID. Was she like, test. hurry up, doctor. My arm's getting tired. Was it like the same size Q tip? Yeah. It's like, super long, isn't it? She's like, this dick's really heavy. <laughs> she had to use two hands. My yeah. arm hurts. <laughs> yeah. no, actually, she's like, the fucking tweezers. I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an erection, and I can still barely see it. <laughs> yeah. Is this a clit or a dick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's measure it. <sighs> um. <laughs> Can't, so, <laughs> like it was your tongue. So your clit was dirty, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Got rid of it. Just gave me a couple pills and said, "Don't have sex for two weeks." And I'm like, "Oh fuck, that sucks." So you waited two days. Wait like a week. Oh, <laughs> just being waited a week. Crushed up the pills, rubbed it on himself, and duct taped it on for 24 hours. And called the same girl oh, back. The worst part was, I had. Three? Inter- intercourse with three different women in Ugh. four days. <laughs> so I weren't sure. caught one from one of them, and the nurse is like, well, you have to call all three of them. Yeah, like legally. Let you know that, or let them know that you have it. And I'm like, I'm not fucking calling them. <laughs> yeah, some states have like an anonymous thing where uh-huh. you can just give phone numbers and it'll send an anonymous text to... I don't think Nebraska. All three of them were virgins before. Right. No, I gave all three of the numbers to the nurse, and she made the phone call. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Wow. Like, I'm not fucking doing that. One of them Do was you married. think the nurse gave you <laughs> her name? I was like 24. I was a bastard. Do you think the nurse gave your name out? Like you had no, sex with Chase no, Grape recently. She can't. She just said. She just said. <laughs> she just said someone that you've had intercourse with. He's named after a May fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you make wine out of it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, and then the fucking bitch, I seen her in a bar, and she came up to me, and she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? Get away from me. And her husband's like behind her. I'm like, fuck, man. I gotta get at her. <laughs> Damn. Do you, think he, do you think he got it? I don't know. I mean. He had a growth on his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how it's do all you even, itchy. There's no way he had it. I mean, and it's they're still together. Like she gave him an STD, and then he's like, "It's fine, baby. Don't worry about it." <laughs> it's possible. No, fuck that. Sometimes it takes like years for an STD to show up. Actually, well, I think uh, she just blamed it on him. Probably. Sometimes you never get any symptoms, but I mean, this guy could have been in the corner watching Chase bang his wife. So yeah, it's we never, true. We God, never I hope behind not. the wall. <laughs> in the, the little people. I hope not. Cause yeah. I was at my buddy's house. So, your buddy's wife. So if, her hus- <laughs> if, her, if her husband was there in the fucking closet watching, that'd be pretty weird. Yeah. Anyways, not that you. Haven't. I was 24 hours a long time ago. I was dumb. I was in Columbus. Well, that's your problem. Yeah. Columbus it narrows it down a little bit, though. Yeah. The three people listening to the show, they're like, "That's how I got that. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. That motherfucking piece of shit." So anyway, no one else has caught anything, really. No, I've been tested multiple Dean? times. Clean as a whistle. Really? I think the ladies that we're with are maybe a little higher class, or oh, or, or, I don't know. Fucked up. <laughs> it's your birthday, but God, higher damn. class. We're talking shit here. I just this is trash talk. talk. I I was just single going out with some chicks. 
Yeah. He's just had more pussy than you've ever had in your entire life. Yeah. I mean, the ratio probably. That's what do you mean ratio? Yeah, like no, like all time, right? Like uh, Yeah. You can probably still count them all on your fucking two hands. Chase is like No. I've, <laughs> I've one hand. I've not so many My belts. Hand. I don't even know where they're at anymore. You still keep the belts. Sometimes I get lost. Dude, in the you move. count belts to put yourself to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> put her to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's dirty. But some but of them like that. They like it. They do. They really yeah, do. I know. I'd beat a couple. <laughs> I'd, I'd just beat a couple of belts in the ass. And they like it. I made them like it. <laughs> <laughs> and they like that you said that. Yeah. <laughs> take it, bitch. Or get out. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, Your husband in the there. closet. <laughs> Tell me he's in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband in the closet? <laughs> you want an STD, bitch? <laughs> Make him watch. We're going to get one now. <laughs> oh, my God. Please tell me you've done that. I haven't. <laughs> Do we make a little short film about that? Yes, please. <laughs> what, STD awareness or fucking... No, trash talk commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like being choked? <laughs> Like Whipped STDs. with a belt. Do you like your boyfriend in the closet? <laughs> yeah, you like your boyfriend watching in the closet? <laughs> Listen to Trash Talk, Omaha. <laughs> we'll give you an STD in your ears. It's Lane's birthday. Cake in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no goddamn cake in the face this year. <laughs> Bitches. Derek, what's the first topic? Well, uh, I think we're bringing back something, uh, an oldie but a goodie. Some, uh, is it Iowa or Nebraska? Uh-oh. Nebraska or Iowa, right? No, it's Nebraska versus Iowa. We're home. Okay. What? You guys ready for this? Uh, uh, do we have to guess? Yeah, we got three of them. Uh, all right, all right, he's gonna he's gonna read it, but it's just you remember how this story. goes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A man was arrested in 2015 after being pulled over for the suspicion of uh, driving while intoxicated. While police searched his car, they came across a sour cream container label in all caps, "Not weed." <laughs> You'll never guess what was inside. To his credit, the driver didn't deny that the weed was inside was his after it was found. Nebraska or Iowa? What? That, that was guess. Lane Churney. I want to say Nebraska. No. I would just go straight up and label it weed. <laughs> <laughs> this is in 2015, though. Like, you were probably still living at home. What What? What kind of container was, was it? Five years ago. <laughs> sour cream. Oh, sour cream. Yeah, he was still living here. I, I don't. Would, I don't even buy sour cream. I would you just put like potato chips or something. Why don't you just like leave it as a? Yeah, I just have some sour cream in my or just car. Just write anything. Yeah. <laughs> or do you think like his friend did it to him like oh, as a joke? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. Just the tip. You can Not sip it, okay? Bit. Derek just put us all some Jameson's. You can't fucking sip that shit. Yeah, I know. So to me, weed is more of a big deal. I think in Iowa. Or no, they just passed uh, medical. No, they didn't. Not med. Yeah, they have medical form, but you can- still can't buy flour there. You can buy, like, I don't even CBD know. stuff. Uh, well, Nebraska has that. I mean, Fifty Shades of Green and stuff. But yeah, they have. You can get medical marijuana, but it's, it's not grown. You can't smoke it. Who's Geoff? Really? Right. Their their laws are fucking Geoff? stupid about it. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's I'm a different Nebraska. way to put spell Jeff. Well, see, the thing is, though, you want to <laughs> lie more about it in Iowa Yaw. because it was a bigger deal. In 2015, it was a bigger deal in Iowa than it was in Nebraska. Yeah, it's still, it was like decriminalized yeah. here in Nebraska. Yeah, it's a misdemeanor in Nebraska. It's not decriminalized. It's a f- it used to be a felony <laughs> in Iowa. Is. I'm pretty Maybe sure. Maybe guess it's Iowa. Was. Iowa. Grapes for in for Iowa. All right, Iowa. Uh, yeah. Um, no, I don't know. I think it's some idiot in Nebraska. Yeah. That's a Nebraska thing. You guys picked Nebraska? Yeah, I mean, it's just a fucking 50 50 guess. But. G off, you said uh, Nebraska? I'm saying Nebraska, probably some idiot from Wayne State College. Naked G off, that All is. Right. We're going to do this a little differently this time. We're going to go to the next one and we're going to re- revisit these at the end. Oh, we don't even get a no. You don't even get a no. No, I think that's better. That is a nice, actually, little kind of touch to the game. All right, you ready? Okay. A man was wanted in several cities for passing fraudulent checks. His real mistake, though, was taunting cops on his MySpace page, telling them that they were dumb for thinking they could apprehend him. 
The man was surprised when cops showed up to arrest him shortly after, as he didn't realize his social media account posted his location along with his taunts. Uh, I feel like I've seen this. I think it's Iowa. MySpace, though. Is that your final answer? Can we get a year on this? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I mean, that sounds like some... Uh, I'll go some Nebraska. meth head shit right I'll there. go Nebraska. It's tough. Yeah, it is tough. 20 bucks. I great. think it's Iowa. I knew you were going to go with Jeff. No. Did we go the same <laughs> last time? Yeah. Oh, shit. No, no I, actually, I think yep. it is Iowa, though. It's... It's MySpace, man. Okay. That's a long time ago. You guys ready? Last one. Hold on. Go back there. Er, er, right, let me scroll up. Go, scroll go down. back down so I can see the... Right. This right. one's right so between. other people can guess. All right. Go. All right. Last one. Two men were arrested for witness. Uh, I'm sorry. Two men arrested after witnesses reported seeing two men trying to break into an apartment with fake beards and "quote unquote" masks scribbled on their faces. So they're drawing masks on their faces. <laughs> the two were very drunk, apparently, obviously, uh, and thought that drawing on their faces a black permanent marker would work as well as any other disguise. Remember when we had a guy in here that did that? Yeah, we do know a guy that did that here in Nebraska. So that's, that's what makes me think yeah, Nebraska. Rob the gas station. Nebraska. Oh, he really did that. Yeah, we know someone that did that. He actually admitted to it on the podcast, and I had to cut it out. Yeah, and he's like, can you uh, edit that? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't get busted for it. He didn't draw a mask on his face. Not that day. Yeah. I'll pick Iowa. I'm going with Nebraska. I gotta pick Iowa because I gotta go against Jeff. Nebraska for Jeff, and Iowa for you. That's your final answer. Get, what have you even been picking? You've been picking the opposite until this last time. Yeah. All right, Iowa, motherfucker. All right. So go so, back to the first one. The uh, not weed sour cream label is. Who, who do you guys think won? I think I won. Probably no, great. no, don't tell us. Let us go <laughs> through. Them. I don't want to know until we win, until we get to the end. Who? Oh, is, someone won. Who is the sour oh, cream oh. non-weed? Nebraska. Wait, no, he just gave it away. Someone won, and I choose. You I didn't win. Him. No, you didn't win. You didn't win. <laughs> Fucking sparkling. We all we all picked won. something different. Could be right, anyone. Go ahead, fucker. Lane and Jeff were hot coming out of the gate. Yep. Nebraska was where a guy got pulled over with a sour cream container labeled not weed. Mm. Mm. Who won? Who won? Who won, Jeff? Chase? Come on. Who's going to win this game? Hot coming out of the gate. gate yeah. Hot coming out of the gate. hot coming out of the gate until the end of the fucking race. Fucker, I will fry your gate <laughs> down. <laughs> <sighs> All right, the man with counterfeit checks and boasting about it on MySpace. Is that right? It's Iowa. It's Iowa. Yep. It's Iowa. Come on, Iowa. Jeff and Lane. Oh. I think you can all guess now that Grape has the worst score of everybody. Yep. <laughs> we know that. This really? was one of the worst performances. I I've lost ever seen that one, show. too. The <laughs> yeah. last one? You lost. You, Do you, you're done. You're out. Do you think out. you're, you're wrong or right on the last one? I'm probably wrong. Uh, oh, shit. He's probably right. No, here. he's right. He's right. I win. Grape was right. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, three for three. three for I win. Ooh, Nebraska, birthday boy Iowa. won. Oh, fuck. I think I'd take a shot to that. Yeah, I will do. Fuck Lane and his fucking stupid game. Happy, Happy birthday, guys. Birthday. I didn't look those up. Woo! <sighs> Tastes like piss. Good trash talk, man. It's Jameson. Ugh. So, uh, <laughs> there's vodka over there if you'd prefer that. Uh, no. Would you prefer tequila? Uh, maybe, maybe as the night goes on. Golden light. I don't have any tequila. Uh. So. I'm just saying for future, instead of Jameson, would you prefer tequila? Oh yeah, 100. percent Really? Yeah. Even if it was shitty tequila. Yeah. No, no, tequila's awful. Silver, if you're gonna have it. No, that's like the worst. No, Patron? gold is the worst. Uh, yeah, I I like clear tequila. Better. What about a thousand horses? A thousand años. Whatever. Remember what years? the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Remember when she said it was called? You thought it was. Yeah. Ho- you thought it was horses. Well, no, we started saying it was a thousand horses. Mm. 
after it said Anos or whatever. Kicked your years. fucking dick in. Like it was, just, it was shot, of the, shot of the day, wasn't it? For like she, three bucks yeah. or whatever? Shot yeah. of the night? Oh, you went to Moolah? Yeah, this was a while ago. Yeah, we haven't been there forever. Once, no. Every day they have a special shot of the day. tequila. Yeah, yeah $3. Yeah. Tres dólares. That's three hours. Three thousand days. Mosos. No me gusta. What? Tres dólares. Three eyes. Tres, tres dias would be three days. <laughs> three eyes. Auras? Did three you say dollars. Three, guys? three dollars. <laughs> Doll hairs. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't know enough. Spanish. I that was a softball, bud. In Espanol? <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Un softball americano? Mm, yeah. Guess what? What's up? Golden light went right through me. <laughs> <laughs> I want it Grape to talk about the next topic. Well, while uh, Grape takes his bathroom break, you guys should all go to our new sponsor, Ascension Barbershop. Is that how you say it? That's correct. Dot com. Katie Watkins is our new uh, stylist barber, barber there. Um, call her book online. Thank you. She's been cutting my hair for a few years now. What was What was the name again? Katie Watkins no, the at Ascension Barbershop. Ascension. It's located off 90th and Center on the south side. I haven't been there yet, and I'm excited to go. Yeah, me too. wasn't very convincing. It's a... Um, what the fuck's your problem? Because you have a mullet? You don't get haircuts? No, I do get haircuts, but I have to have a special right person cut No, when, when Katie cuts your hair, it is special. She doesn't just cut your hair. She cuts your soul into little pieces, but... Oh, well, I don't need that. She I'm tapes them back up. together, though, in the most beautiful way. I'll tell you this. I watched her cut Derek's hair, and he asked for, like, a one to four fade with, like, whatever. He said, like, five different things. I had Corn no... Cornrows on one side of No head. clue what he was talking about. And she did it. Number. She's like, okay, perfect, or whatever. He would say that. And I, then... I go in there, and I'm just like, just fuck me up, would you? Yeah. Yeah, when she asked me, <laughs> like, what do you want, Don? I was like, just a haircut? Like, right. I don't know what to say. Just, just make me look good. Yeah, just give me a haircut. And all right. She goes down. It's perfect. It's great every she time. She goes down. She goes That's to town. <laughs> Going downtown. Wait, where's this place again? Uh, 90th and Center? Yeah. Ascension. Barbershop. Right. You should go. 402-916-9151. Ask for her. Katie. Do we know her? We do know her. Do I know her? No, you do not. You should, though. Turn, you that, cut your hair. turn that a little bit towards you, would you? Talk directly into the microphone. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now that Chase is back from his first pee of the night. First. I wanted to ask about uh, what are your guys' th- thoughts about Luke McCaffrey transferring from Nebraska. Not only that, but going to oh, my did? favorite college, Louisville. Oh, yeah. That's where he oh, went. Yeah. 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 That's his hometown. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I what? don't know if that's his actual hometown. I thought he grew but... up in Colorado. Did you, know uh, he was, did you know he even entered the transfer protocol? No. Yeah. Damn it, that sucks. That was like transfer portal. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Proto- what did I say protocol. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not good news. Uh, no, that and sucks. and uh, I didn't think he was that great anyway. Who was Robinson? Transfer also. Justin mm-hmm. Robinson. Wa- Wandale. Wandale. Uh-huh. Wandale yeah, Robinson. He, uh, <laughs> he went back home. I know he went back home for sure. I think he had family members that were sick. Yeah. Wandale Robinson. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Probably the. Best player on the t- offense though last year. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think McCaffrey was all that great. Like, he had one well, or he two. He was fast. Potential. He, he had potential. He was. Well, fast, they never but... like helped him though. It was always like, well, McCaffrey's in. You know what's gonna happen? He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Well, because he couldn't yeah. fucking throw the ball. Like, he's not a quarterback. Yeah, no, I'm not sad not. to see him. I mean, it concerns me that Nebraska is losing recruits left and right all the time but i i think if you look at any college right now with the transfer portal guys that aren't seeing the type of playing time they want to see or yeah. aren't fucking having their ass kissed the way they want it to have have it kissed are just up and leaving you know what i mean like uh i think the transfer portal is one of the worst things to happen to college football in a while it we kind of became like pro football in a way it's worse because there's no contract you can just at the end of the season decide i'm done that's true. Their parents yeah. probably have a lot of shit to do with that too. Hell yeah, they yeah. do. Like their dad. Oh, you're not playing well, enough. I mean, just you're imagine it though. Going like to another school. You're in high school and you get you know recruited to a team, but then once you experience college for a year, you know everything changes. You don't like some shit or whatever. 
Yeah, I mean, but it you is... get some girl knocked up, you need to get out of town, go to a new college. <laughs> yeah. True, very true. Give her an STD. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, or get a couple STDs. Crabs. You're in Lincoln for sure. Get God some raid sake. and duct tape. You'll be fine. True. <laughs> so just raid a little duct tape with the old razor out. Yeah, it does seem though like Nebraska year <laughs> after year is losing their top players. You know what I mean? Or who's considered a top player? Yeah. What do you starting, think that says about Oliver. Frost? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Like, God, he was so good at South Florida. And he was getting good recruits at Nebraska. Central, Central Florida. Central Florida. Yeah. Um, I don't I, know. I, think, I, I honestly think it's just Lincoln. I think kids get to Lincoln, and they're like, where the fuck am I? You know? I mean, you're not wrong about that either. Yeah, they experience one winter in Lincoln. Like, downtown Lincoln is fucking freezing. They get some wind tunnels in that town. And there's nothing to do. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to do. Like, you go downtown once or twice, and it's like, okay, well, okay, that was th- these great. are the same bars? Yeah. All like, bars the same? There's no, there's one place to go party. That's it. You yeah. Know, you could drive. There's down. not a suburb of Lincoln no. at all, you know? No. Like, That's why I think Omaha would do really well. With a college football team, yes and no. I mean, like, I don't. There's think a little a, bit more to do in Omaha. A little bit Fuck more, that. but Fuck also you, you got to look at these work. other places like uh, Boise, you know, uh, Ames, you know, like shit. Even like Northwestern is right on the edge of Chicago. Yeah. You know, there's any, any other town. We had UNO. Yeah, and they had football. Yeah, I think we deserve a Nebraska State. Uh. If we, if Nebraska, who would go for? Who would vote for Omaha? The, I don't think it would. Work. Omaha would. I don't think it would work in Nebraska. Uh, yeah, Creighton. I mean, yeah, we have two, two uh, Blue good, Jays. Blue Jays. I won't Nebraska. say two good teams, but uh, you know, two. What What is it even called in basketball? I don't even know. Like, what are you talking about elite so, program? Uh, no, just like. The conference or whatever, like oh, they both, the big they, East. Like, they both play on it. the big stage or whatever, right? Oh, like, we got but big, basketball yeah. is also different. Like you have like March Madness is insane. Like how many teams go? Sixty four. But Creighton goes way more than Nebraska goes. For sure, Nebraska is fucking Nebraska. UNL is dog shit at basketball. They all have they try. Been, they try. I mean, aren't they on like a two game win streak right now? <laughs> I have no idea. I've never paid attention to Nebraska. Uh, but, Did you hear about what Creighton's coach said the other day? Uh-uh. Something racist, right? Yeah, I don't remember the con. Everything's racist. They now. were asking about players leaving. Well, this was kind of odd. His his word choice was weird as fuck. He said, "Uh, Greg McDermott, people don't leave our plantation or something like that." Really? Yeah, and they were talking about keeping players, you know, for four years or whatever through senior <laughs> year. Plantation, huh? Yeah, plantation. Why isn't he fired yet, then? He volunteered to leave. The school was like, no. Really? Um, but I think they've lost their two games since. Yeah. So hopefully he hasn't like lost the players, but he very well may have. Yeah, I mean. Or his heart's... And they were, like number, they were in the top ten for a bit. They're like number 14 right now. They're probably... Yeah, I don't really might fuck it up. Or his heart's not in it. You know what I mean? Everybody stay on the plantation. I can't have anybody leave the plantation. Wow. We got to stick together. I mean, isn't plantation just a farm? Slave of, farm? A slave, a slave farm. farm. A yeah. slave farm. Yeah. yeah. That's no weird. one calls their ranch or farm a plantation. Like college, unless you have you mean? ranch. A college yeah, team. Yeah, college exactly. sports. <laughs> yeah, head coach of Creighton. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we says. play basketball again now? What's the comments? <laughs> oh, oh, well, everybody's pissed. He he probably will get fired. Uh, it sounds like he wants to leave. Maybe Mr. that was intentional. Mister Potato Head's probably even. Pissed. Wait, is he hoping to get hired again somewhere else? I mean, on some plantation team. What happened to his son? <laughs> is he what? still playing, <laughs> Dougie? McDermott? Yeah, he's still in the NBA. <laughs> Dougie McBuckets. Maybe he wants to go help his son again. Get a job for the Nuggets? It's a Dougie McBucket. Oh, <laughs> where does he play, though? I don't know. He's in the NBA, though. The Nuggets. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a basketball team? Yeah. McNuggets, yeah. Dougie McNuggets. <laughs> McBuckets. <laughs> Dougie McNuggets. Oh, good old Dougie Fresh. So. All right. 
yeah, fuck. Uh, I don't know, man. If 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 Frost has another couple of years where he's just losing every recruit, yeah, something's gonna. They're yeah, I gonna mean, win. how do you build a team when they're never gonna win? The supposedly stars are just every year leaving, right? Like th- this last year, we had the best receiver leave, right? You know, this off off season we have the up and coming quarterback Maybe. leave. We have uh, the, other. How many other quarterbacks did we lose? Did we lose like two? Yeah, and I mean Verdell and uh, and he was terrible. Like, not sad to see him yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, he was. And fine. then Adrian Martinez's first year, right? There was a guy that transferred out. Yeah, because Adrian got the job, which you know Maybe, leads, uh, leads me back to what I was saying before <clears> about. <throat> guys not getting the playing time they want so they're like fuck it i'm just transferring out of here and i'll go somewhere where i'm gonna play right away like, yeah somewhere warm yeah and it well anywhere like they just want to start right like they're coming from a high school where they're probably the top athlete everybody's in their ear about how great they are and this and that and they have to sit a year. you know big fish in a small pond s- scenario so you think it's just more ego the kids nowadays yeah i mean instant gratitude right like Instant results. So you think they should have contracts? You sign for a college, you play for that college? Um, Allow one. Maybe if the college pays you. Right. Allow one transfer, maybe? I mean, I I mean. Because that's the thing. You can't be transferring every year. And there are people that do that. Technically, you can. Yeah. Should you be allowed to? It's your career. If you want to ruin it, you know, go right ahead, right? Hey, whatever. Scott Frost was transferred. Was he? Yeah, he transferred his junior year. Oh, he went from Oregon to Nebraska. I don't remember where, but he, he definitely from transferred really? to Nebraska. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Because he he was coaching at Oregon before he got the job at Florida. No, as a player before he came to Nebraska. I know. And then he went and coached under Chip Kelly. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Wait, when did he come to Nebraska? He wasn't his, a freshman. His junior year. Yeah, no, he didn't play all four years in Nebraska. Well, and that was back when you could lose a year of eligibility for transferring. Mm-hmm. Now they're just maybe like, oh, we whatever. should recruit more kids from Nebraska like they used to back in the nineties. I yeah. agree. I just don't think the talent's really there, right? I mean, we just, I mean, that guy from uh, Bellevue yeah. West just, go out just, to just signed with. I mean, so what, so you get some alignment, right? But who's gonna throw the ball? Who's gonna run the fucking yeah. thing? Like, you know, it was sad to see that Bellevue guy go out of out of state. Uh, Where did he go? Like USC or something? No, I think he went to Oregon. Yeah, the West Coast school though. Yeah, yeah. it was West Coast. Pac twelve. Yeah, and he wasn't a receiver. I think he was like a defense is back. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but I was talking to some of my other friends, and they're like, yeah, I mean, uh, Nebraska plays in the Big 12, right? Like, I guess that kid was like 180 pounds, you know, and he's mm-hmm. going to have to be tackling these 230, 240-pound running backs, you know, with these giant linemen coming at him. Yeah, but that's why you, like, you have to sit two years, bulk up or whatever. It's college. You or know? he can go to Oregon and start right away, and all he has to do is chase the receiver down the field because that's the style of play out there. Yeah, it's true. You know. Hmm. Smash, smash mouth versus, you know, passing game. A band? Smash mouth? Yeah, they're great. Should we listen to them? <laughs> no. What do you think about it, Derek? I know I you're a fucking Louisville fan. <laughs> um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of fucking neat that he went to Louisville of all places. So yeah, um, you're gonna know. cheer we'll for see. him this year. So who's their quarterback now? He probably Martinez not even gonna still. start. He's a senior. Really, he's still there. He's a senior. He's been like really. a senior for like three years. No, <laughs> is this a different Martinez? No, it's Scott Frost's fourth year, and it's Martinez's fourth year. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Scott Frost been there for four years. Already? This will be his start of his fourth year. I was wondering if like they're gonna have a spring game this year. Oh, they will. Nebraska. Yeah, it got canceled last year. Was it? All that, it was right. You know, right the, about a year of... ago, pandemic. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering how things are going in the state, like every fucking business is open, right? Like, according to uh, Abbott in Texas. I mean, Nebraska has been open longer than Texas has been. You know, the gyms are open. We never but, really shut down. Even. You're right. We never Everyone really get your mask on, get back to work. Well, and <laughs> it took for, I mean, is there even a statewide mandate right now, or is it just cities? Oh, no, no there never was. Right. Some There's different counties or cities. I think the legislature that. actually voted to have a statewide mandate, and the governor uh, shut it down, Ricketts. Fucking Ricketts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't I don't. But, see. like, Grand Island and Norfolk, they all, like, passed mask mandates at one point, and they are probably all 
have gone away by now already. I don't know. The last time I was out in western Nebraska, there wasn't a single fucking person with a mask on. Well, yeah. Yeah. Not a single one. But they still had them. Maybe. I, mean, I, I still see people in Omaha. I mean, they closed shit long, down for too. a while, like two months, three months. Yeah, I mean, you could, I mean, but I'm Bars. pretty sure. A year ago. Yeah. Restaurants. A year ago, but it's all been back since the summer. Yeah, I'm right. just saying. Man, That's remember how empty that. the roads were for like so a while? So great. Man, I would have to go to the office every once in a while to like, grab some shit or drop something off for somebody on the team, and it was just going like 100 miles an hour. Nobody gave a fuck because nobody else was out there. I yeah, was still there was late. I was not still late cops. for work. No, there was not. Yeah. You were st- <laughs> <You're> still late <laughs> for work. I feel like there have been... <laughs> it was a zombie apocalypse. You're just like, what? Why is everything so still? And I feel like there's been a lot of accidents lately, too, because there's so many people on the road. A roads. report came out today that actually last year, despite there being fewer people on the road, we had more accidents as a nation than we've had since, like, 2013. And it was the first time we've actually had an increase in accidents in a year since sometime in the 20s. Wow. Really? They've been going down every year? Yeah. That's definitely not the trend for Omaha. Like, fucking people drive like shit here. Mm-hmm. Like, they're aggressive as fuck. Yeah, don't fucking get in my lane. I'm yeah. driving here. Hey. Soccer moms in large vehicles are assholes. Right. Yeah. Like, I got my blinker on, is. bitch. Let me over. Like, yeah. <clears throat> I need to get off at the next exit. Like, if you don't move, I'm gonna fucking swerve into you. I don't give a shit. I do that in my <laughs> truck all the time. If they don't get over, I'll fucking swerve. <laughs> they, yeah. got a, they got a big I, fucking I trailer that's gonna knock well, them out of the like, way. It's like, yeah, I'm that like, freaks them out. Like, oh, I'm, I'm like, you're gonna die. I'm not going to. Right? So I'm not even get the fuck out of my way. I'll give you an STD too. I'm gonna fuck, dude. I'm hauling crabs right now, and you're going to die. What do you want? Death by crabs. You want crabs or to die? Hey, can I get a golden light, actually? There's no more. There's one right here. How long has that one been sitting there? I'll drink right. it. Give it over here. Minutes. In the fucking Zima bottle. They must have had a bunch of these just laying around. They're like, oh, fuck, we need to use them up. <laughs> What's up, bro? It makes me think of like a. Can I get a golden light, like a fucking golden shower, motherfucker? But lightly, you know. Just a spritz. Yeah. It's not my birthday. Just a refresher. Just a little rinse off. <laughs> it's not my birthday. You can come over and get your fucking beer. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. No, well, here I want that one. I'm pretty sure you're the beer bitch, though. You're supposed to get the beers. Am I the cake bitch tonight too? Yeah. At some point, whenever that's happening. Do you want it now? Throw it on the floor. No, don't throw it on the floor. <laughs> I'm just going to throw the whole fucking thing in your face. <laughs> the big dick on the fucking cake, too. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of that dick, okay? I said we all take a picture together and with have the, a nice with picture with us all together for fucking once in our goddamn lives. You guys, we take pictures together all the time. When? Yeah, it's been... Did you that, guys wear your tuxes over? The, yeah, we go camping and shit, but it's always singled out fucking... Right. I mean, we've been friends forever, and we always have... Uh, it's always... You with your fucking little wiener or something hanging out, <laughs> and then Jeff and his girlfriend, and then D fucking with his finger in his butt. What's what wrong fuck? with that? You don't like those pictures? The me drinking golden light and s- pouring it all over yourself. It's actually I just want a picture of all of us together because we've been friends for a while. You can put That's your fine. finger in my butt and take a picture. I don't care. Liz or <laughs> Lane, websites for Lane that. won't do uh, staged photos. Promise me? Everything's got to be candid for him. I do like candid photos. To tell you the truth. What we'll call is Who's going to take the picture of us? There's a thing called a timer. I know one of you assholes got an iPhone. There's a Timmy. Do you? My phone has a timer built in. Oh wow! Aren't he's, you a cameraman? Don't he's you have got a iPhone. fully functional? Right, he doesn't have an iPhone. Canon? What do you got? I got an iPhone. Google Pixel. You do oh. not have an iPhone. Yeah, I do. Wow. You're Look such a thing. fucking liar. It's an iPhone. I just bought it. <laughs> Pretty just cool, because huh? he closed the class. That proves it. <laughs> All right. That's, That's an iPhone. All right, there it is. Sorry, I doubted you. See, okay. you got an eye that comes out of the back. Did you see it? <laughs> that makes it the iPhone, huh? That's a that's an uppercase I though. iPhone's lowercase I. There's a dot. Are you supposed to know what's an iPhone if you like, fucking? I, I can't take it's, the case. It depends on right like there. how you use it. Right there. Does it say iPhone it, on, yeah. it? on the iPhone. operating system? It's the big Apple on the back. Yeah, but it's the operating system. <laughs> there's no Apple on it because I have a then case. Then it's not an iPhone. If there's no you Apple. Fucking on it. idiot! Let me turn it off. Let me turn it off and I'll turn it back on. Zoom tight. What's the next uh, topic? I'm not sure. 
You're supposed to read it. That's how we got off. A- well, applesauce. I'll tell you what the next topic is. Chris Krause Potentially applesauce. as early as 2027, we might have our first fully operational space hotel. Who's, who's yeah, who's building? Yeah. Right, right. A three-year-old company. Orbit Assembly. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be an out of this world hotel. Wow! And uh, by this decade, we have a good chance of actually seeing a fully operational one in in lower wow. orbit. Um, so they're calling it the Voyager Voyager Station. Uh, they're gonna start building Whoa. in twenty twenty five. That's what it looks That's like. That's from a movie. What is yeah. what movie is that? It's like a Ferris wheel. Voyager. That's like a space. No, this on. is supposed to be the renderings that the company know, put together. But there's like. That's like a Star there. Trek thing, Star- Voyager. Well, if you look at a lot of spaceships, uh, depending on how far out into the future they are, if they're human kind, they use those big circles like that for centripetal forces so they right. can mimic gravity. Right. So that's the concept that they've been they've had for a Do long you have to time. Walk all the way around that. I think that's the original design. And, in no, Fifth it, this element. is a slow rotation, and then depending on how Should fast be. it rotates, you can uh, mimic more gravity or higher gravity. The bigger it is, is that what you said? The faster it spins, yeah. the but more it, gravity or G's. What if it's you, you bigger exert. though? You just have more mass. Yeah, but I don't think it's, it's the speed, working though. It's, the it's, same. It's speed. It's rotational speed. And then compared to also how so, big it is. This is my question: Do they build it down the further here? Further out you get from the center, the faster you're technically moving. No do they way. build it on the Earth and fly no, no, it up? No, twenty twenty five. They said they're constructing space. it in space. They have yeah. to start building. I'm pods. sure they'll have like things. Maybe they'll do on Earth, but for the 70, most part, it's going to be assembled in space. Seventy five fucking SpaceX flights later. Yeah. Yeah, like how many contractors yeah, that's why do you think are going to... so much right now. They're going to be the ones doing this shit. Uh, did you see that they had the... had a rocket explode for SpaceX today. Yeah, Earth viewing lounges today? and bars. I think so, on the landing I pad seen... after it landed. Yeah, i seen the headline on that. Uh, there's another company now that, besides the other two that are already challenging, but um, there's so another dumb. company that's going to build another rocket that can do the same thing. So check this out. First hotel in space, you're not going to be surprised. You're not just paying for the novelty of the setting, you know, being in space. There's going to be onboard amenities, including themed restaurants, a health spa, cinema, gyms, libraries, and even concert venues. That's not enough windows. Like, the whole reason to go to space is to look out the window. You need more. You can't have too a gym. many. Because <laughs> the, what they have to do for that glass treatment to what protect are the you from the sun's floating rays up in the air. Is, no, there's uh, still gravity. You can't have all glass. Oh. You got to have a lot of protection uh, built Dude, into the Dude, I can lift a billion pounds in space. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Is gravity less? You know, the there is no gravity Earth? in space. No, but the artificial gravity. I would imagine the space. artificial gravity. They're going to try to match as best they can to Earth. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if it's going to be for tourists. If there is like a center, though, where there is no gravity. Oh, yeah, there absolutely is. Then if you'd go visit that spot or whatever. Too, Probably, you know. yeah. Do you want to pay the extra $10,000 for 20 minutes and you can go into the center <laughs> of the centrifuge and yeah. float? That's what's fucked up is we'll never be able to go there. Well, I'll laugh when this hotel crashes and burns. And they all die. <laughs> Course, I mean, die. it's more likely that uh, space debris takes it out, right? That's true, really true, true. There's like so many, there's like pieces of satellites and old rocket. That's probably the second most likely around. thing to happen. Are those like uh, on the outside there, the little spokes? Is that like the life rafts? No, they look like rockets, don't they? Right. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Escape pods? Yeah. Looks like a dartboard. Oh, fuck, the aliens are coming. Abort, abort. Dark, I mean, honestly, though, isn't this not a bad idea to have humans in some place in case a virus does take out everyone? So this is so you'd never get up there. Great it's point, limited right? And but I, if what? life would go on, no, it wouldn't, because the only way this thing's going to be sustainable is by fucking frequent, Young people? no, frequent fucking deliveries from Earth. Yeah, these uh, motherfuckers yeah. aren't growing anything on that thing. Like, yeah, they don't have like a biodome or whatever. Right. Well, the Plus, thing is to get people on there for a few days, take them back, bring up new people. Right. Yeah, and every time a couple people come, they're bringing supplies with them. Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> what? I was gonna say, plus all rich fucking snooty people that can't fucking even yeah. camp, yeah, or they, be oh outside by themselves. Do you think when they take fucking, shits and stuff, it true. gets expelled into space as a frozen ice shit, and then falls back into Earth, yeah. and they're literally oh. raining their shit down on us? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. But what if like a they frozen... can't even need a fucking. St- there's going to be shittiers in the sky. A frozen shit takes it out, though, somehow. Like, it's yeah. I don't think you can expel anything something. from there, right? Besides you can expel anything you want to expel in space. Probably not. No. 
You could expel a lane if you wanted to. You could, yeah. You know, it's space. There's no rules. There's no laws in space, and it's a good thing they have space force protecting them. Dude, well, if I could I afford this... it, I'd want to send pigs into space and then have pigs in space. <laughs> I think that's probably why they developed space force so they could protect this hotel. Most likely, who well, else? It's got a big T in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you know it's going to be sponsored, though. You know. well, so, but actually, the next thing on here is that they're hoping to sell portions of the hotel to permanent, what they call stakeholders, including government agencies looking to use the site as a training center, uh, including landlords, Jesus. and they want to create a, a, a villa on the craft as well. Landlords. So encircle the globe every ninety minutes. Yeah, there's there's Jesus. no land. How could what you if you don't landlord? pay your rent? You, they throw you out of the fucking like, yeah, space. Airlock you out. <laughs> you just fucking floating out there. No, it's probably mm. like you pay before you even go. They send you back in this little tiny fucking pod. Yeah. And you land in the middle of the ocean. No construction costs. Hmm. Have been revealed. Wow. Oh, I what mean, a what thing, a good life, dude. This just sounds like fucking fire festival, though. Seriously. You know, uh, you I'd get rather, like I'd rather live on Earth. Do you know some of those tickets for Fire Festival were a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Who the fuck pays a hundred thousand dollars for a festival? But ticket? people did, right? Yes. Yeah. Like what the fuck? The same people that will pay to go to space, that's, dude. That's why we need the wealth. Tax. How do you get people paying that much money and still can't pull off the festival? Uh, because the guy had no money to do it. Like he sold the tickets to raise the money to do it. And, and then, then put the rest of the money up his nose. Embezzled it, yeah. Like, but I mean, if you have a hundred thousand dollars to throw away on a fucking ticket, you're going to space. No, like there's something wrong with the system. That's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I'm all for fucking you know people making as much money as they want and whatever. But like, there's so many problems in America. Free market, motherfucker. There's just too many. Okay, free market. Then let's fucking let all the savages Jeff out. Jeff Bezos fucking, makes like twenty six hundred dollars plus every, I think, minute. Every right. minute. And he's preventing the. It's probably union. more. It's probably every second. It's and he's preventing a union from a uh, right. farming or whatever. Just you know, for fucking people to make a decent living, right? To have health benefits and fucking shit like that. Yeah. When he's got billions and billions of dollars, he went through but a divorce, he, lost he's half investing... his fucking money. And Still then, the second richest second, person in the world. Right. That's fucking insane. Who so is wife like the third or fourth then just because? Right, but she's giving all her money away because she's not Because she doesn't want to pay greedy. taxes? Well, why would she pay taxes? If you're giving your money away like that, especially those types of amounts, you're never going to be paying taxes. But it's also... A lot of rich people do that type that. of stuff. She's not... Why would... She's not... There's no income there. She already has it. She, she's sitting on it. You still and get you, taxed on that type of stuff though. If you got like saving assets. cash... It's an asset. Yeah. yeah. And especially when you have large okay. lump sums like that, but a lot of rich people donate a shit ton of money because they can avoid having to pay taxes on stuff. I guarantee you, she's not just like, I took my lump sum of money and I'm going to live off the rest of my life. She's probably got stuff where they're like investing it, doing certain things with the money so it can be generational wealth and this be passed along forever. I can only think of the taxes you would be paying would be like property taxes and things like that. There's and like wealth what taxes that happen. No, there are not because that's what they're proposing now. Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Well, they they want to make those – a lot. Of, there, there are wealth taxes. Most of them I think are done by state. I'm not sure about if okay, there's a federal maybe one. maybe in a state. There's but they, not a federal one. It's very one. easy to get out of them though too and not have to pay them. Yeah, uh, that's By where you hide your money at. Essentially, they want to tax two percent of these like, fucking rich ass motherfuckers' wealth. Two percent, you know. And I forget what it is. He's got uh, shit, dude. He's he, him or Elon Musk had a good chance of being the first trillionaire. Two percent of that is. I thought Jeff Bezos overtook to Trump Elon Musk. One ply toilet paper to wipe your ass with he for multiple did. lifetimes. So after the divorce, Bezos went down. Musk went up, and then just recently t Tesla took a hit on their stock price, so Elon went back down to number two. And Bezos overtook it? Yeah. But they're both going to space, right? Uh, it's Musk, I bet you'll be like, he's the guy that's had the dream, and everything that he does is all about going to space. Even Tesla is about going to space. And then they have the, what's it called, the, the power company that he owns for the uh, the roof tiles they make. <clears throat> All of this stuff is so that he can create a system of harnessing supposedly just green energy, but then also creating a network where they can gather information 
and ultimately create a network of satellite systems that guide these cars, but it's like the beginning technology for what they'll need to relay information on an expedition to Mars. You're talking about Starlink. Yeah, Starlink, uh, everything he does, all of that is part of his ultimate plan of colonizing Mars. He sounds like a Bond villain. He kind of is. He is. Yeah. He is. He's a fucking anti-vaxxer, anti-masker, like... He's <laughs> he's not. I don't know. I used to. Think, he does treat his employees probably better than Bezos. No, no depending on where you work at, yeah, he's uh, got some pretty bad. He's stories. another Steve Jobs. I've heard he's not as well. I don't know. I I don't know if I've heard, but I just know Bezos is obviously terrible to I mean, Amazon employees. People say all the time, right? Like you don't. I'm just saying, how would you act if you were a trillionaire? Would you be all nice and friendly? I <laughs> would. would like, <coughs> I'd like know, to think I you. was. I'd like to think I would be. It's Lane, greed. you're not even nice it, and friendly now. It's yeah. it's straight <laughs> up. It's even my birthday. And I'm a fucking. I get asshole. I get a paycheck. I'm an asshole for a day. No, yeah. Bro. Yeah, true. but don't. <laughs> hang on. We're we're all middle class guys sitting here, right? When you go to the store and they ask you to donate the dollar to St. Jude's, right? Nine times out of ten, you push yes. When they ask you to fucking round up your 50 cents to the next dollar for whatever fucking charity, you say yes, right? When you go to PetSmart and they ask you to fucking donate a dollar, you say yes. These assholes don't. They no. fucking get on TV and ask you f- for your donation, right? Sure. They use their star power for that. They want your money. They use money. their star power to fucking hold down their employees. Like, it's said all the time, right? Like, you don't get to be a billionaire without taking advantage of people on your way. Like, and at this point, what? It's not gonna fucking hurt him. So, what does it take to be a trillionaire then? Uh, about to find out. Fucking another shot, Jameson. Ridiculously nope. low. Uh-uh. I'm good. No. Ridiculously low taxes. You motherfucker. Like the middle class pays the majority of fucking, fucking taxes faggot. in this country at, right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> Oh, man. It's insane. We're not here to discuss tax reform, though, right now. Unfortunately. That'll be next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got a story I, I think Grape's going to like. Okay. A little more lighthearted. <laughs> Get the fuck out A little out more of about the penis, which I know he loves talking about. Who? go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Rooster... Stabs a man to death with a knife during a cockfight. Guess where the man was stabbed to death? In the cock. No. A cock attacked his cock, and he died. I heard it was on the knife? inside of his leg. It was a. It was, he had multiple groin wounds. Okay. Is what they called it. All right. Was this his claws or was this? Okay, so Indian, talons. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's and they they attached his knife. blades yeah. to the to the feet. So an Indian man died after being stabbed by a rooster he was training for cockfighting. The rooster Jesus. had been outfitted with a three-inch knife on its leg. Uh, though cockfighting is illegal in most countries, it continues to attack plenty of people. Uh, the guy's name was Thangula Satish. He was 45, died of blood loss after the rooster repeatedly stabbed him in the groin. And uh, he was among 16 people organizing a cockfight in a village in a, uh Indian state. But the reason he got stabbed is because they were fleeing the scene, is the article I read. Maybe it... Well, the authorities apparently are actually searching for uh, the, rest the organizers. Them. Yeah, because right. they could be charged with manslaughter in each face up to two years. What about, are they searching for the rooster? They already had to put him down. <laughs> yeah. He, he got the chair. <laughs> cops came up and they seen that knife and they just blasted his ass. They're like, let's kill him and then eat him. <laughs> Cockfight. Isn't that what you do when you go into a men's restroom? Try to use your ur- urinal? Journey? Yeah. You got to <laughs> cockfight the guy first, you know? So apparently they also like fuck up the ch- chickens with like meth. Really? <laughs> yeah, to get them all jacked up and get their aggressiveness way up there. <laughs> uh, enhance the aggressiveness like they just yeah. put, it, put it in there with their food or what uh, it just doesn't matter I mean you can them. fucking hold a chicken down and make it swallow something you know no they probably just inject them that too yeah. blowing hits of meth you in know, their face yeah. this is not the yeah. first time this has actually happened somebody's died from a cock Jesus 
I mean, cockfighting is considered a felony. Another in Indian only, man died of it. In only 42 states, it's illegal in, in the United States. Cheers. They named a few other people that have died of this, and they're all in India. Cock so fight. maybe India shouldn't be doing cockfighting. Cheers to cockfighting, guys. Cock. Cockfighting. Cock Watch go, your cock. Let's go to the bathroom and cockfight. Would it help you if I had some pickle juice, Chase? That's only Jameson. A little ham sandwich? I don't know. I love Jameson. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know. What's what's their problem? Pussies. To us punt away. To us puto. What? I'm good. <laughs> you do do it. You do do it. So what, what was Jeff's word? Skunkus. Dugs. Dugs. Skunkus. 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 Would what's you that mean, man? would you watch a uh, like a cockfight? Dirty women. Yeah. Would you watch a cockfight? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Did you watch a donkey show? I don't think so, actually. I'm not French, dude. Yeah. I wash myself clean. I'd be like, holy shit. I would just there feel really go. bad for the girl and be like... I was going to say for the donkey. Or but... the donkey, yeah. <laughs> Either or. But if the chick was ugly. <laughs> yeah. Or what if it's a dude and a donkey? No. <laughs> Definitely not, feel bad for the donkey. You're not dude. Watching Unless it was that, you. Yeah. I'd be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck that piece of shit. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Get him good. You want to watch me fuck a donkey? <laughs> We'd have to fucking carry you home. Lane'd probably be like, I got some ass this weekend. Like, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Some jackass. <laughs> some literal jackass. Double ass. <laughs> An ass in my ass. It behooved me to do so. <laughs> All right, don't don't push the luck. Let's play pin the tail on the donkey. <laughs> um, no, I'd probably definitely be more interested in like uh, monkeys fighting. I think than cocks. Uh, right? Yeah, chimpanzees will eat your face. I don't know. Did you did, have you ever heard the monkeys sto- are fucking insane, dude? There was like a uh, some lady back in the 1900s that thought she could fight a baboon. And then, like, actually had, like, a boxing match for her and this baboon. And the baboon just, like, fucking broke her neck. So. Well, shit. How did this shoot? Okay, so they put, like, when you see a baboon, I literally picture, like, it's sitting there, and she walks up, just decks it in the face, and it's like, what the fuck? You <laughs> they, know? they put it in a fucking boxing ring. I don't know how it happened, because it was, like, before cameras were even invented, essentially. And, yeah, she just, like, went up and started punching this baboon, and, yeah, it, like, Ah, fucking went crazy. And yeah. Fucking <laughs> broke her neck. Like, and it was just like so dumb. Like, did they think they were going to have like a rounds for this, her and this baboon? Yeah, you like know? once like it goes crazy, in a spittoon. there's no stopping it. Yeah, exactly. Like, a, you fucking <laughs> the ring bell the bell. And the fucking, ah! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, like. Starts throwing shit at people in the audience. Who would be dumb enough to do this? Something people like in the 1900s? Yeah. When they were showcasing electricity by killing elephants? Lick, licking it and shit. I don't think that was showcasing it. It was fucking trying to show how dangerous AC power was. But they would also sit there next to the AC power or whatever and show how safe it is, too. No. That was DC. Yeah. Edison uh, would kill things with AC power to fucking shit on Tesla. Really? Tesla was the one that would sit in the platform and have stuff yeah, all around him. The like lighting, and what lighting not. bolts around Tesla him. Coil. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but why? Ambient energy. But why don't we have in the Faraday Tesla's case. technology? We do. We use it now. We don't have Edison's because it's too expensive to uh, run DC power. So back in the day, right? Like you can do it now. Um, Should they do it now? So like the proposed um, across country high voltage lines, right, to make the grid one across the U.S. Um, in China, what they do is it's high voltage DC power. Really? Mm-hmm. From their wind farms out in the fucking Mongolian hills and shit. It's super high voltage DC, but back in the day, they didn't have that capability. So every mile, they had to have a repeater fucking station. Booster. Yeah. And it was too expensive. Where AC, uh, you don't have the voltage drop like you do with DC. Hmm. So if they just like pass some sort of law to. 
up the grid and do DC everywhere. Yeah, and get high stupid voltage. states like Texas to get back on the fucking grid. So there's how many jobs that would create too. Insane. Like if we were to, yeah, if we were to actually fucking embrace clean energy and upgrade the grid. But what's gonna happen is all these fucking politicians, s- politicians, <laughs> interests, landowners, fucking, and the power grid operators, right? Like, the owners so, of it already. Right, we just experienced this, right? The South- Texas. Southwest Power Pool, right? Um, we were all told to reduce our electricity use so that way they could send it other places, right? Southwest Power Pool doesn't want to fucking have to join forces with the next power pool, right? Because they have a monopoly on those fucking eight states. They can do whatever the fuck they want and they make all the money. Now, if they give that up, now all of a sudden they're not in control. Mm-hmm. Let someone else come in and do their power or whatever. Well, it'd be a national grid, right? They wouldn't be in control at all. Like, same thing with Texas. Like, ERCOT, all them motherfuckers that are quitting and getting fired, like, they'd all be out of a job. Like, But shouldn't it happen? Yes, if we want... If that's the only way to transition. There's like, no way to, like, let these previous company owners, like, still be fucking shareholders so or whatever like in the new grid. In Nebraska, we're... Pu- Everything's public power. Nebraska, yeah. Everything's public power. But the grid itself, right, like power generation inside of Nebraska is fucking publicly owned. But it's connected to the Southwest Power Pool. That grid is not owned by Nebraska. Hmm. So when they had all the rolling blackouts, they... It wasn't necessarily decided by Nebraska or PPD. No. It was Southwest Power Pool. Really? Yeah. I did not hear that. Saying you need to shed your load now. Hmm. That's why they did it to all the poor company or poor neighborhoods. Well, I mean, yes and no, right? There I mean, was they didn't shut Elkhorn off. No, there were some. St- there was a few places out west and whatever, but well, they did. Post place was never shut off. Yeah, Papillion. Papillion. My power never went off. Yeah, I live in Midtown. Like, yeah, I'm not even sure if mine ever went out either. And that's the they thing. They said it did, but you're probably on. I did. You're probably on with you and MC. You know what I mean? Like this little area right here. Like they're not going to yeah. shut their fucking Blackstone. power off. Blackstone. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> There's certain areas they won't shut down. You know, nursing homes, schools, stuff like that. They try to avoid. Yeah, um, but this poor neighborhood in Bellevue and South O. And- South O. Yeah, they shut them off first for sure. You know, because <laughs> it is just a big neighborhood essentially. That and those people have less access to fucking representation, so you know the th- chance of them being sued's lower. You know what I mean? <laughs> like <clears throat> most of those people are at work, also. So They're who? Not... So who owns Blackpool? Blackpool or whatever the Southwest Power Pool? Yeah, Power Pool. I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't looked that far into it. Yeah. All right. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> TLC. Uh, that's what Tesla did and uh, powered Upper State New York. Exactly. It's still powering Upper State New York. Yeah. But we don't have any waterfalls that are useful in Nebraska. Uh, have you been to Smith Falls? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Tap that shit. We got a fucking. We got a <laughs> you Platte start River. A hut. <laughs> what does Nebraska mean? Water. Flat, 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 water. flat water. That yeah. water that moves. There's how many rivers you, we you could about fucking this. tap. I know. That's why I brought it back up. I fucking said that. I like bringing, I like bringing old topics. No, I think that's It wasn't called problem. Nebraska. It was it, called... What the fuck was it called? Flat Omaha water. Omaha was the thing right upstream. Uh, upstream, upstream people or people. something. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, Nebraska it, it is wasn't flat water. Nebraska. It was called... No, it was like Nika. Nika Briska. Flat Earth or water. Niska Bra or something. Nibariska, yeah. Yeah, it's flat water size, but I think it I was think flat water and tacos. Anglicized? Yeah. Okay. I just uh, never heard that before. I like uh, it. That's yeah. When white settlers couldn't pronounce an Indian and word, then they change it. Yeah, to they said sense. Nebraska. Right. They said yeah. Nebraska. And they shot, shot him, and they said, it's Nebraska now. It's Nebraska now. <laughs> <laughs> they died of smallpox. They, they said it was Nebraska. I don't it's not Nebraska. <laughs> you we're want gonna, a blanket? We're going to call this <laughs> Omaha because they were upstream people that we killed. And they said Omaha before we killed them. And then we sent their bodies downstream. So, yeah, we're going to call it Omaha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but back to your point. Let's get the Blair. railroad in here. I think the reason that we don't have <laughs> more hydropower in Nebraska is get the because it's so flat. Like the, the no banks, damming. The, the, brank, the banks of rivers are so low, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, you like, could, you, you, 
flood a lot. Right. The Missouri River is the same way, right? The only reason it doesn't flood more in the Omaha area is because it's been channelized, right? Like yeah, we for build sure. the fucking banks up to keep the water in. Like, yeah, we diked it up. And, and it still floods up. That's the it reason Offit flooded last time is because the fucking Corps of Engineers said, hey, you need to build this shit up. And they said, ah, go fuck yourself. And then, uh, yeah, 35 or 38 buildings flooded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ruined. Yeah. But n- guess what they're doing now? Building it up? Yep. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, they need to. Or the abandoned base, essentially. And Fremont needs to do theirs, too. And I don't know if it's they are. Flooding again already this year. Yeah. People- Skyler flooded. Well, it's the same spot, yeah. Not necessarily Skyler, but south of Skyler. Right. It got pretty close to town. I mean, it went. Did it, it this went, year? It, it went. It went through Socorro Lakes and it fucking headed up Highway 15 to town. I don't know if it ever got all the way to town, but I don't think it did. It went. That I think way. Dan Cherney stopped it. Dan Cherney don't live in Skyler nope. anymore. That's yeah. probably why it didn't flood. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Man's not here. I gotta go elsewhere. I did see you got a new job, though. Good for him. That is very true. Yeah, you'll see him this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna punch him right in his balls. His <laughs> old balls. <laughs> hey, I got the old balls though. Right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. You getting gray hairs yet, or what? Yeah, in the beard. It's, a, it's gray. You've had gray beard. hairs in your beard since I met you 15 years ago. Well, call me Gray Bush. He's had that beard since he was like 13. <laughs> that exact talking. same beard, like that thick and everything. Uh, He's yeah. like coming to class one day with like a two-week-year-old or two-week-old two, week, two week old beard. Yeah, like... Uh, Y'all fucking just... Like, it might not have been that full on the sides, but he had the full-on... Like over summer one time. Goatee, yeah. Like we came my freshman year in high school, fucking come to school and was just like, who's that old guy? Oh, that's Lane. <laughs> shit we we went to my cousin's wedding when we were like juniors in high school my cousin's like who's the bum <laughs> <laughs> that's when he stole an r2d2 uh, from uh, around the block <laughs> in saint eddie he walked around like the block of the, where the wedding was and he stole an r2d2 out of someone's yard <laughs> all right i got some funny news for us to go over today all right all right, so this one's called Just Needed a Day Off. Brandon Souls, 19, was arrested by police in Coolidge, Arizona on February 17th for falsely reporting to police that he had been kidnapped in an apparent scheme to get out of work. On fe- February 10th, police found Souls lying near a water tower with his hands bound behind his back and a bandana in his mouth. The Associated Press reported. Souls told officers two men had kidnapped him from his home, knocked him unconscious, and driven him around in his car looking for money his father had supposedly hidden around town. But detectives could find no evidence of kidnapping or assault. And when press, uh, when Souls was pressed, he confessed that he actually made up the story t- to avoid having to go to work at a tire factory, which he was subsequently fired from. I fucking heard that. Rasta. Yeah, he made up a yeah. I heard that he made up a fucking kidnapping. Yeah, he like, hit himself over the head and whatnot, to not bound go to and work. gagged himself. <laughs> to not go to work. Like, I, uh, I, heard, I heard it on Todd and Tyler. They're like, dude, the the whole rag in your mouth, you can spit it out. Like, <laughs> it's not like... It was really down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> the whole rag in the mouth was just like... It was probably like his used underwear. It was like, oh, I'm going to make it look just, oh, good. It's just, it's just in a movie, you gross. know, like, oh, you got a rag in your mouth. You can't spit it out. But no, you could take your tongue and just spit the fuck thing out. No, he held it in there while he waited 45 minutes for the cops to show up. (laughs) I love the taste of my old balls. (laughs) All this to get off work for a day or whatever, and then and then he gets fired anyways. Right, just call in sick. Jesus. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. This was Nebraska? No, I don't know where it was at. Damn, I was going to do that tomorrow, but never mind. <laughs> Might get caught. Gag yourself in your <laughs> underwear. At least duct tape yourself before you're buying your own hands, you know? Yeah, I'll call. All right. I'm duct taped. Here's another one. <laughs> how how you calling? Let me call you back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm duct taped. <laughs> they choked me with a phone in my mouth and, and the rag. <laughs> All right, so... Not very good news. Shannon Stevens, along with her brother Eric and his girlfriend, snowmobiled to Eric's yurt in the backcountry near Haynes, Alaska on the 13th of February and got a scare of a lifetime. 
Um, she was attacked from below by a bear in an outhouse. So inside the outhouse, inside where you sit, the bear had crawled inside. Um, her brother heard a bunch of noises, went in, uh, to investigate, and uh, she ran out of the outhouse. And upon opening the toilet seat, he found a bear face to face looking back up at him to the hole. So he shut the shut the lid and ran back to the yurt, and uh, they checked out Shannon's wounds on her ass. <laughs> Nothing was serious. Yeah, she so, had two gashes now. Yeah, not even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She got clawed. Um, anyways, her brother said that she might be the first and only person on Earth that this has ever happened to, getting clawed in the ass by a grizzly bear from below on a toilet seat. <laughs> How the fuck did the grizzly bear get in the toilet? I'm sure I mean, it's an outhouse outside of a yurt. Right, I'm shit. sure it's not locked, and it probably crawled into below the seat because it was like it's probably warmer and break the wind, and you know, like a little little cubby. No. There's no, got to be a way to empty like it. A, there's a hole down there. Like, yeah, exactly. That's where it was at. There's a way to empty it, though. Ugh. They probably don't even have water in there. It's probably just a big hole in the earth with a shack on top. Well, you, no, you still empty it out every once in a while. It's, it's just a hole Some. in the ground. Wait, do it's bears a, eat shit? It sounds like it's not a place they live at. looking for it's, corn. They're, they're visiting. Maybe yeah. they've been eating a lot of fish. Wait, aren't, aren't bears supposed to be hibernating, though, too? Yeah, it probably was hibernating in, in there. Shit. Oh, shit. How long did he <laughs> was hibernating in that shit? <laughs> shit cave. <came. laughs> A couple of months, and then finally he's like, I can't take this shit anymore. <laughs> no, he got mad when they came in there. He's like, no, this is my shit. Well, you think you'd just open his mouth and wait for his next meal. Oh, well, yeah, and she put it in his oh, mouth. Shit. <laughs> he didn't like what he got. Like, And he uh, said, hey, uh, take this back to the chef. He's like, it smells like fish. Hey, ain't no fish. <laughs> That's my <laughs> vagina. Mm. Crazy well, bear. <laughs> it was a black bear? Uh, I think they said they thought it was a grizzly. A grizzly bear and a fucking, fucking no. Bear they don't toilet. say. It. No. no way. They don't say. It's just a bear. It was a polar bear. It could have been a polar bear. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, probably not though. I'm guessing it was a black bear. Uh, I'm gonna guess Alaska. It was already in the story. Yeah, it was in Alaska. Uh, oh well, I wouldn't. There's no guessing. <laughs> <laughs> These are just I mean, fun no stories. <laughs> oh, you won. <laughs> I won Fuck. again. Do you need another gonna... shot, Lane? No. I was gonna guess Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! No, but, it happened at the Hanley Dorley. You know, you could, you could, yeah. I could imagine like a, a fucking mountain lion doing something like that. Okay. Yeah, mountain lion, bear. mountain lion, lying in, in a pile of human shit I in a hole in the ground. Man, bear, pig. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pigs for sure, lying in shit. <laughs> fucking Al Gore, hop up and bite your ass. I'm not imagining Al Gore. Right, I got one more. Man bear pig. That's Al Gore. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> this one's titled, Who the Poo Are You? Mr. Friendly Auto Service in Warren, Michigan is one of two auto repair businesses. Anybody want to guess what state this happened in? Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Michigan. Uh, yeah, uh, wait. Sure? God damn it. I sounds, win. Sounds like Pennsylvania. Quit, staying, quit saying the fucking, we can guess at this <laughs> shit. Quit saying the words up. All right, all right. So Mr. Friendly Auto Service in Warren, Michigan is one of two auto repair businesses in the area (laughs) targeted by a serial pooper, police say. The man seen on surveillance video entered parked, unlocked vehicles to do his business, leaving his deposit behind for workers to find the next day. The man first struck in November returned and returned in January, said Chris Phillips, the manager of Mr. Friendly. In February, police said the man struck at nearby Twin Tire, going from car to car until he found one unlocked because of an electrical problem. Quote, unquote, Now we've got double padlocks on the gate, said Phillips. The guy needs to be caught. There's something wrong with him. Yeah, he's got diarrhea. I was really hoping when they said he was going car to car, like he had that much shit saved up. <laughs> he was pooping on every car. Just He's one turn in his car. car. I mean... That's impressive. Yeah, that'd be hard to hold it in. Yeah. Like, and like, you were like kind of doing a little squat run to each car or whatever. Or you just take one big shit, pick it up. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Shit in a bowl. Put some gloves on. 
spackle car. You I don't guess. even need gloves. It's your own, it's your shit. I mean, if you're being logical, <laughs> no, I'm still yeah, wear what? My own you shit. still wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wear gloves. I bet you Jeff's yeah. one of those people that shits in the shower and smashes it down the drain oh, with his shit. foot. <laughs> one in thirty. One in thirty. I've done it more than once. The Waffler. thing is, you the know, waffler. you know, thirty <laughs> does have a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> a mullet. He's a waffler. That's, that explains it. It's all the same plumbing. Who cares? No, but split. you know it's not. <laughs> You're an electrician, yes. not a plumber. Yes, it is. It, it go- all goes in the same spot. <laughs> no, but yes, that's a philosophy for eating, not shitting right. in the shower. The only thing you got to worry about is pee trap. You get a turd stuck in the pee trap, and you're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Then it just stinks. But if forever. you waffle it correctly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me smell your foot. Yeah, you must have a lot of <laughs> shit in between your toes. Do you, pre- do you like that feeling? Why is the first thing Grape says, let me smell your foot? <laughs> he wants to know if it's true or not. That's what I say to all the women. He's like, he's like, can <laughs> you, smells like brute. <laughs> can you demonstrate this for me? Because I'm having a hard time waffling it. <laughs> let me smell your feet. Yeah. You need a tight grate. Yeah. Did you <laughs> install your own grate? Just keep your toenails out of it. <laughs> Just get a petty heel. You use your yeah, heels. Use your heel. <laughs> no toenails. Kind of smear it across. For there. for the new listeners, one in thirty people poop in the shower. Really? Yeah. Oh, we had a whole episode about this. Yes. Fun facts in the How shower. How did they know that? Survey. People were surveyed for Survey. this, and they honestly answered. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. What, one I, in thirty have people have pooped in the shower. How I think you, one in thirty people lie on their survey. How could you be that guy? Be I like. Know. Yeah, I, I shit in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Well, shit in the shower. You don't? So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't? What do you mean Let me you smell mean? your foot. Well, I mean, I, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I keep like defending. Is, like, maybe people are head. like, oh, yeah, I have shit in the shower, you know, like once or whatever. I'm not but, saying I have, but uh huh. maybe people are saying that. You know? People shit. People, people sh- shit in the shower. People fart in the shower. Maybe if, if shit comes out. have a little clacker in the shower. That's easily extending your shower time by 10 minutes. A I shit? mean, you're washing your butthole no matter what in the shower. No, Do you have like you a waterproof a... cover on your phone? Read the oh, paper. The, take the a the shit in the shower. Man. Yeah, yeah. How do you read your phone while you're shitting in the shower? Is you have waterproof. Shit. Waterproof. My, my phone's not waterproof. No. Oh yeah. Old school shampoo bottle. I take bottles. this in the shower with me all the time. Jack oh. off. All kinds of stuff. In the shower. Yeah. You just read shampoo bottles though in the shower while you're shitting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's what I did. That's yeah. what I did Old before school. I had a phone. Old school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've shit in red, red shampoo bottles for sure. Oh, whatever. Before smartphones, that's like go to with shampoo I remember, bottles. You used to have magazines all the time in this shitter. Oh, yeah. And if you, you got to have reading You just material. looked around like, what can I reach? Yeah. <laughs> Here's yeah. a lotion bottle. God, What's remember, the remember where's the aerosol? What's that made of? <laughs> <laughs> remember beating Ooh, mem- Fully recyclable. <laughs> remember beating off the Playboys? Yeah. Jesus. That was weird, huh? I, there's no way I could do it now. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, no, you could. You got desperate went, enough. It wouldn't feel right. If your it? phone was dead and you had, like, you're in Texas, let's say, and like, let's say the electrical power died and you had nothing else to do besides beat it, you got just magazines. I would just your use phone's my, dead. I would use my imagination probably over a magazine at this point, I right? Smell your foot. Oh, shit. I don't smell his ass. He just farted. Sounded like a dying cat. That's that's his feet. Oh, golden light, for sure. Happy birthday. Thanks. (laughs) Can't be that bad. I don't want to find out. It's bad. I ate it. Last last week, it was really bad. You on on the protein again, Chase? I had a lot of vegetables today. Bullshit. A little broccoli. Asparagus. Cauliflower. Uh, celery, carrots. The, uh, I had some radishes. Do that. I had green beans, radishes. They'll do it for me. The vegetables don't do it. It's when I get too much protein, then it's just like oof. <sighs> Stop yawning. Uh, are you out of topics? No. Can I do one of mine? Absolutely. What do you always sound British? Are you out of topics? Are you out of topics? Can I do one of mine? I'm going to do one of mine. Nevada wants to allow corporations to own cities. Build cities at that. But not just build them, but like own them, jurisdiction. Own them. Collect taxes from people. That sounds like slavery. No. You, brought- you didn't show up to work today. You get five days in company jail. 
there's plenty of local local taxes like that. I mean, it's on your fucking tax return. What that you missed your, work? No, on your W two, right? Like <laughs> local tax, like not just state tax, but local tax. Like cities have their okay, own okay, taxes. okay. But that's still going to the state, that's the county or whatever. Yeah, this no, goes to tax. the company. No, no. Mm-mm. That's for the city. That's the like. Okay, but they but are the city. That's the thing. They can. But it's not. Still but it's not a corporation. State, right? It's not a corporation as the city. This is a corporation. You have elected officials in a city. city. <laughs> this is the city. Like no, we're your. We're a corporation. We're that, the officials. Is that exactly what this? That says? is what they are. Ha- is so happening it's going to be an autonomous zone inside the U.S. I fucking doubt that. No, it's a alternative form of go- local government. Okay. It's not an autonomous zone. It's a corporation that so owns it. So it's still fucking subject to state and federal law. There's probably state and federal law. But yeah, no. right. it's U.S. Right. But it's not. But it's letting a. It's not like in Omaha. You can vote for your fucking mayor. It's the CEO of the business that owns it. Mm. And it, and I guarantee everybody in the town's working for the company. They're getting, they're gonna end up with like weird shit where like. People getting in trouble for things that you couldn't get in trouble for in other cities. They're going to let the company have uh, large areas of land and governments and carry the same authority as a county. So, yes, there's still the city in the – or not a city, I guess, but a state level and federal level. But they're going to let a corporation own a town. Right. And, then, and collect taxes from people. And then there's one lawsuit that gets taken all the way to the Supreme Court and this fucking shit gets wiped out. This, we'll find it's, out. It's a state law. It's going to be passed in Nevada, though, matter. first. I mean, so... Th- well, right. Derek brought up right away, like, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. They, they, they built a, the town. It's a corporation that built a town for their, but it's, it's for still, their employees, right? Yeah, but Hershey, Pennsylvania, outside of Hershey, the company that makes candy, they vote for their own... Government representatives for the city, yeah, or town, exactly. or whatever it is. I'm sure it's a suburb of another town, probably too, right? It's probably yeah, right probably outside of Pittsburgh something else, or something like that. Exactly. But this is going to be like a corporation literally builds a town in the middle they run of the it. fucking they are the government desert. They are the it says to business. form to form a government. It doesn't say anything about not voting or anything like that. Well, we didn't talk about that. No, but it's like I'm sure the company probably has a. But contract. if they're the government, though, they don't need to necessarily say you vote for people, or maybe you're only limited to voting for people that are like the board of directors. Or you something still get like a that. vote for Nevada state elections or whatever. Yeah, you know, and and federal, obviously, but. I'm yeah. sure it's an opt-in thing, it's but just like, if you opt-in, you're probably yes. fucking. The it's the opt- first step. The opt-in okay? is fucking. Imagine though, there. like literally, yeah. imagine Facebook buying <clears throat> fucking Sarpy County or something. That'd be know? great. Sarpy County sucks. Well, no, Facebook don't even think about too. Sarpy County. Think of like something else that's like a little further than Louisville. That's where they're at. Right. Yeah. What county is that? I don't know. It's it probably is Lancaster Sarpy. or something. It, no. no, it's probably in between, but. Wahoo County or whatever. Something that's not really Saunders, developed. I think. Maybe. That, yeah. that could be right. But just a county that's not that developed. And all of a sudden they say, you know, we're just going to buy, we're going to build a city right here, right next, between Omaha and Lincoln. And we make Mark rules. Zuckerberg's like, I am the mayor. You will do what I say. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like it. This is just the first step. <laughs> first step in what? It's not going to happen. Corporations owning a town. Yeah, they're already city. like shadow government. Now they're just like, you know what? We want to be a little bit they're more out, implicit Out now. in the open. You know, we yeah. actually do own you, even though we do, obviously. So what does that it's mean? It's got what plants need. That's what that means. <laughs> it's just... What does it mean they own... And you're a slave, right? So they're just going to... You don't show up to work, you go to jail. <clears throat> oh, no. No. Mm. Never would happen. Could. No. It's one step happen. closer. People would kill people if they tried to do that. And this is people. Even, this people then the, then the corporation yet. could decide what to do with someone that kills someone. So, I mean, like you said before, Hershey, Pennsylvania, right? None of this shit happened. That's, That's totally in Pennsylvania. Thing. Hershey, the company, didn't own anything. <laughs> they just built. They had the a fact, business, had a and factory. the town sprung up around it. Yeah, exactly. And and there's just like a bunch of Hershey stores. Oh, and everywhere. I think Hershey actually invested a lot in the town. They but probably they didn't. There's plenty of towns no, like that across there are, America. There, there are towns that companies own. But they this own is the literally land. the government saying, a state government saying, hey, we're, we're not, not going to allow you to just build or you know do a lot of stuff to create a town. You can literally be your own county government. Right, and the county government really doesn't have that much control over anything. Well, like, maybe more than you think. 
They might. Uh, I guarantee they're gonna try to push the limit. Uh, and then, dude, whose idea do you think this was? Do you think Nevada was just like, hey, what do you companies think about this? No, the companies came to them. They have an agenda. Do you trust a company with an agenda like that? I don't. I, we don't even know what their agenda is. Like, so what if it's to be all completely union, so this slavery. This is the one thing. There is one company, <laughs> Blockchains LLC, has already committed to buying smart city right a, and, yes, the, and this is what city. i was getting at like i knew it was going to be a smart city like, well 78 mile square mile smart city okay it sounds like a fucking bond villain i'm talking about bond villains with elon musk this is exactly what a bond villain would do build their own little utopia yeah we're where the fucking everything's green energy and electric cars that's just the am- minimum <laughs> amount that they have fucking, to own what a bunch of assholes I don't know. I I'm not that afraid of it. Like uh, it I, depends on the corporation. Uh, yes, somewhat. But on on the to- on top of that, right? You still have state and fucking federal laws that supersede anything they could ever I don't know, do. Man. Maybe you, you m- still have fucking the Supreme Court. No, like, no. I think so. Jeff's okay with companies owning a county. That's I think fine. I think it's going to be very similar though, like they to like a sovereign already. nation. Like, it's, mean, it could be like a uh, Native American no. territory. Yes. Th- this is the first step. To th- that's the next the step. The U.S. federal government is the one that fucking gives permission for Native Americans to have sovereign nations inside the U.S. But they let them do their own like well, that was their land a criminal long time ago. stuff. It was their land. It was their land, and they, and they and signed they, plenty of treaties, fucking saying that we'll about. give you all. this We haven't value. honored the vast majority of anything in those treaties. I agree, but at the same time, but you don't think they would treat corporations the same way? They probably treat corporations better than Native Americans. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who do you think's paying for this legislation to even get voted on or debated? Yeah, exactly. I understand that part of it. I just feel like it's the a fact that a business slope. is coming you know, out and like the U.S. Constitution to... still reigns supreme. No, yes, not states' not, rights. Not in one of these places. States' yes. rights. Nevada yes. is if, very hard right. If Nevada signs, they off just voted for fucking s- Biden. They're not that hard right. If Nevada signs off on seventy-eight square miles, their state to a government is run by Republicans, and as most states in this country are, right? Yeah. Like, you know, but it's one thing for a national election, but they're so gerrymandered. Their state representation is vastly Republican. So regardless called, of what the fucking state says, the U.S. Constitution still overrules that. Okay. Just the same as Texas wants to secede. You know what would happen if they ever fucking did that? Fucking They'd march all the fucking troops down there and fucking take over their government. No, it's true. It's you know, true. same fucking shit with this. No, but this is the thing. You sure? They're, they're trying called, to take over the Capitol. That didn't happen. They're called... In That's a- what I'm saying. Like, it didn't happen, right? Like, the fucking U.S. government stepped in and prevented that. Same thing with what when happened... When did they step in? Barely. When Had, they fucking... After three hours of the Ushered everybody the, out. Everybody right? got tired of stealing the muffins from the break room. No one arrested day of, 50,000 troops in the Capitol today. Why? Because there's because they thought it was going to happen again today. Correct. My, that's my next topic. Let's not jump it. Okay, back to the innovation zone is what Nevada is calling it. The zones would initially operate with oversight of their location counties, but would eventually take over county duties and become independent government bodies. But it doesn't Nevada's say... Nevada's not going to, like, it, regulate them. It still doesn't say anything about not voting. Well, nobody's brought that up. And that's what that, yeah, yeah, that's the biggest fear. You mean voting here. as far as your county representation? Right. That's the biggest fear here is that companies are going to take over and does strong a com- arm Does them. a company let you vote for the company? I, it's up to the company and what they want to What you know, company is a de- what company runs as a democracy? I would love to see the actual language on the bill, right? Like this is a fucking news article about it's it. It's AP news, okay? So it's okay, the bare bones I don't, of it. Right. You're going to read a fucking if, House, if you want to discuss pull it up on right Twitter, if you I'm not fucking, fucking, fucking pulling the, the bill. If you want to fucking discuss it in detail, like this is the apocalypse of America, like yeah, we probably should no, look at I, the actual fucking No, I'm not saying details. that. I just think this is a slippery slope. I do not think this is a good idea. I in guess the reason any I'm way not so afraid of it to give corporations more power. Denver has these kind of autonomous areas. zones. No, they're not autonomous. <laughs> they're still fucking controlled by the state. Like. But Samsung and I don't know who the fuck else out on the eastern edge of Denver is doing something like this. Like, it's already happening. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this brings us to our next commercial break. <laughs> <laughs>
We had this already. Ascension Barbershops. Call Katie Watkins today. 402-916-9151 off 90th and Center. Katie Watkins, Ascension Barbershop. Go get your bush cut. <laughs> Especially if you have crabs. She'll give you a mullet. Uh, so yeah, the Q and A and people really did think that they were going to be able to march on Washington today, or something was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, do you know why they picked today? Because originally that's when there was the transition of powers. Correct. Thursday. Yeah. Because they didn't even do the February until or was it January? I can't remember. January. January sixth. That wasn't until like nineteen twenty something, right? Or yeah, I don't know the date they switched it, but another one of the conspiracies, right? Like. Just like stringing the Q&A and people along for even longer, you know, still believe in now us. Now it's going to happen on the 4th of July because America. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I read something today that said now the QAnon movement is merging with the evangelicals. No, I mean, I, I mean, I, most kinda, of them probably were evangelical, right, you know, but. Fundalism, Christianity, and Q go together. Uh, evangelicals are not fundamental Christians. They're the fucking cherry pickers of the Bible. They're the motherfuckers with ten divorces. Fucking, how many fucking? That's just the. How many of those pastors. people have you ever met in your life that literally were like some of the biggest fuck ups you knew? All of them. Yeah. Right. This is what I'm saying. They're the cherry pickers, right? They're the ones that shit on their fucking neighbor's yard fucking would never fucking ever offer to help you you know what i mean and then turn around and claim that they're holier than thou sounds like churny fuck yeah it does i'm, I'm glad not it... evangelical though. <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad somebody finally realized it all right. All right. you guys am i a fucking corrupted evangelical pastor you don't have to be that seems like it. you just carry the corrupted evangelical holy ghost in your spirit fuck yeah. Anyways, the article was saying Hell like, Satan. this is basically <laughs> basically how uh, like fucking the Taliban got started, right? The radicalization. Like, oh my god. They yeah, they'd have the exact same so much in common. Yeah. I do mean, you, do you think that could actually happen? Well, th- what the article is saying is like you know it's one thing when it's you know uh, Nazis or fucking uh, I forget what other terms they used, but. When you mix religion into beer, it, huh? you add another yeah. level because they think that they're doing it for God, right? Like, they think everything they're doing is justified by God. It's crusade. Yes, and so the violence escalates. Yeah, I'm I'm scared for America. Like, I just got done watching uh, Book of Eli. That's, That's a great movie. movie. The whole premise, yeah, yeah, is basically we need to get the Bible back because the Word of God has a way of influencing people and, you know, in can easily be ways, used though. in different evil. ways. Right, but the Everyone way it's, interprets it differently. The, the way it's used in America, at least in politics, is to fucking shame and fucking uh, condemn your opponent, right? Like, Oh, he's a baby killer. Oh, he supports fucking faggots. Or, you know what I mean? Like, a way to fucking use that to demonize the other side. It's not used. Yeah, you like God, right? This person goes against God. Do you want to go to hell? You got to have charisma, though. I don't even think it's that. I think it's like these people are the devil because they're going against the Bible. Do you think it's just the word? Yeah, so if you support him, you're going to hell. Or you think it's charisma? You can have a good message with the Bible like against your enemy, or you think it's just having charisma. I think the message lying. that's not used in the Bible is, you know, love thy neighbor, right? Like, if you're a real Christian, like, that should be ringing true, right? Like, yeah. supporting the poor, fucking, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But instead, we're focused on abortion, uh, gay marriage, you know. St- you Support know. troops. Yeah, we even... Fuck anything non-Christian, essentially. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's being used as a, as a divisive measure, right? Like, And church is supposed to bring people together. It's supposed to teach you love. It's supposed to be about acceptance. They do. It's they to, do. Communities. They bring communities together. Only on if you're a part very, of their community. On the very local level, yeah, right? Yeah, but exactly. How many people in Skyler... At fucking life teen, did you really think cared about you unless you towed the line? 
zero. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's divisive. And, you know, like. You got to believe this. You have to. You know, like. It's just. Uh, religion has no place in politics, right? Like. We're well, not. We're no. It doesn't. Period. Like, that's why it's separate. Supposed to be separation yeah. of church and state. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what they. That's all they talk about. That's but what yet, the founders talked about. But yet these under God individuals. You know that wasn't that was added later. That oh, yeah. Well, that's not in the Constitution. Right. That's just something think people say. That was added to the money later as and well. The Pledge of Allegiance and everything. Right. That was fucking Christians getting their way. You know. Same way they with, lobbied. Same way with the filibuster right now, right? That's fucking a relic of. So, how is that he, was never in the Constitution are, either? It was added are, in the 1840s, I believe. Right to protect fucking southern slave owners. Slave owners. Right. How is America going to, uh, you know, accept Q people? What are they going to like accept? Like we're not. There's nothing to accept. We're not. No, they believe a lie. We'll cave to them somehow if they cave to the evangelicals about. They're fracturing their own party, sort and they're of. never going to have enough people if they form their own party. And that's hopefully, why, and that's why Trump is saying he's not going to create another party, right? Because all the Republicans came down to Mar-a-Lago, kissed his fucking ass, and they said, "You can run again, and we'll support you." But they know because they won't win. The real rip. They don't know that. Trump got fucking like five million more votes than he did the first time around. Like, people love him. It's true, I guess. There's a really good chance that he wins next time. If he runs. If, you know, he may If be, he can legally run. Depends on what that, Biden does, too. You know? A well, lot, I don't think a lot Biden, of minds could shift I don't think if Biden does a, shit. Well, just keeps bombing people. Well, not only that, but, you know, $15, $15 an hour is not happening anymore. Fucking. It never was. Why would you expect that? <laughs> they had it in this bill, the $1.9 trillion. They've added it to a lot of bills. And was I know, but out. this but was the Biden, best chance But that Biden was never for it. You know that. Yes, he was. He's still for it. Mm. Go read the news articles. He's still for it. He's for 15. And it would be passed. No. The reason it's not passed is because of Joe Manchin and fucking Kristen Siena or whatever the – Siena, whatever the fuck her name is. Who? Some the wrestler? Stu- no. Some – yeah. Chris <laughs> Siena. John, John, <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. Some fucking stupid fucking senator, but – Joe Manchin, so the way reconciliation works, right, is you have to not a single member of Pay the, slaves. Is that we're talking about? Yeah, no. Rec- budget reconciliation. The Don't way they it. were going to try to pass <laughs> the fucking stimulus bill is uh, you only need a simple majority, 51 votes, <clears throat> instead of the 60 that everything takes right now. Filibuster. Because, because of the filibuster. No. this So budget reconciliation, you can't filibuster. Um, well, here's to COVID relief. But Get, the, getting alien disclosure. The only way that works is if every single person in your party votes for it. Well, so the Democrats, the partisan bullshit. Democrats don't even have that. Right. I mean, how long do you think if it'll we take? eliminate the filibuster how? and they vote and put toe the party line? They won't. Kamala Harris can come down and be like, "I am the hammer of Thor," and oh the same they appeal, can't. Uh, they can't get everyone. rid of the filibuster because fucking Joe ever. Manchin and that other bitch I mentioned. Yeah, they can't. Yeah. Uh, what do you think it is that like Democrats are too nice? Republicans take advantage of every little thing they possibly can, and Democrats are like, "Well, oh, if we do that, they're going to do that. They're going to do it anyways." I, I want to know again let, the last let's, 15 years. Let's think, let's think future. Let's think out there. Let's think some crazy shit. Like, think about what's going to change in four years. There's going to be some fucking new technology we're not used to and shit. What is the Joe Biden controversy? What does he fuck up in three years? War? Yeah. I mean... Or... I think what Joe Biden's going to fuck up is he's not going to... Uh, Get the progressive agenda passed that everybody. Voted of course, for. he's not. He's not progressive at and, all. And, he's a centrist. But hang on. I mean, there's certain things, right? There's certain things you could do. Like if fucking the fifteen dollar minimum wage passed, I think even that if would it be... took ten years to get to fifteen dollars, you know, a long time ago. I no, people no. at McDonald's were making that. No, no there's a minimum federal minimum wage right now is seven. He needs to open the borders. Let whoever wants nine. to come over come over. <laughs> he needs to allow straight up abortion. I don't even care if you've been born yet. Kill the child if you don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> everybody needs to be getting a government stipend every day minimum every day i want to see a 75 dollar more 
or more deposit in my my bank account every day from the government. The other thing what? that's seventy five dollars a day. I vote for him again at that point. A day. A day. <laughs> UBI. I mean, that's a real <laughs> thing. That's Be so rich. dumb. UBI. You wouldn't deserve it though. That's the thing. People like you shouldn't deserve a seventy five dollar a day. Why not? Why? Because we. I'm American. Because you're working though. Yeah, of course. I don't yeah. need to be working. Yeah, we're Give me 75 working. a day, I'll fucking we're quit instead of my ass. What would you spend $75 a day I'll on? I'll be spending it on all the fucking children I'm going to have. Because I don't have to fucking work. No, actually, all actually that's going to happen. Children. That's the worst that's, thing. Yeah, if, if people don't continue to become more and more sterile. Well, yeah, I mean. They, are adopting? Birth, birth rates have been plummeting worldwide. And they yeah. keep blaming worldwide. on economic reasons. And it's just like, no. It's, Baby bust. No, it's because everybody's infertility. Like. How many people do you know that have children that had to have help from a doctor? Yeah, a lot. I know a lot. I yeah, do too. It's true. It, people that took a while for them to get pregnant. Yes. You know? Like we, as a society, it's high as fructose a species, corn syrup species. Uh, yeah, all the processed food, right? And the That's why fucking, I cook so much is I make things from scratch because mm-hmm. I don't. You start reading the back. Trying to get bitches how pregnant. That shit you can't pronounce. It's like you trying the, to get bitches pregnant. No. Well, <laughs> the lack the of activity. Species. Hey, do you want to fucking save our species? <laughs> and also, Derek's cooking you a meal. Natural selection <laughs> is gone. Pizza or tacos, it's baby. true. You know what I mean? We got a lot of lame ducks <laughs> running around. Yeah. I'll eat that taco. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this is nature's way of fucking population control, right? Yeah, that's what I was about no, to say. Exactly. It's population control. Needs to happen, really. Honestly. There's just too many fucking bad saying that, But, but I mean, science is fucking out pacing nat- nature right get off the planet <laughs> get in that hotel yeah why yeah, why spa- fix the one we live hotel, on you know why, go why to a fix, space concert why fix the one yeah. we live who on who does the first space oh concert God. Do you think it's a hologram or a real no, person? No, it's like some band that's the not. The Killers. Uh, some band that's not in <laughs> it A boy band? Yet. No. You think it's a boy band? Uh, it's definitely an EDM thing. EDM? It's, you it's, think EDM still? It's got to be electronic 2027. Sure. It's something you never even heard of. Yeah, exactly. It's but it's going to be rich old new. people that go there. No, it's going to be a fucking DJ with a mask on. It's going to be no. rich old people, people that know go there. It it's Daft Punk coming back for the reunion concert. <laughs> no, Daft Punk won't go to space. Incubus. <laughs> Better, I mean, it could be faster, any, honestly, stronger. <laughs> You could be right because it could just be like a fucking uh, hologram Daft Punk too. Even though they're helmets, you could put anyone in a fucking helmet, right? You know, so I have yeah. a head. Can you put me in a helmet. Yeah, we could fucking milk you, Derek. Sounds like a great concert. <laughs> I do not want to. You want to pay a hundred thousand dollars to go to the first concert in space? No. What, what if it was? Oh a my free god, Space Fire Festival, dude. Oh. Uh, the first band needs to be called <laughs> the Pigs, Fire. and they that can sing a scary. song called Sp- "Pigs in Space." Is that like the Jewish yeah. space lasers? Jewish space? Well, lasers? of course the Jews. You haven't heard about space. that? That's what started all the forest fires this year. Is it kosher? Um, it must be. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by kosher. If you mean blessed by a rabbi, no, it does not. How else would they get to fucking heaven? If you're, if you're not kosher, you're not going to heaven. But there's space laser, guys. A, a rabbi is not blessing a laser with holy water, okay, before it goes into space. So it does, yeah, not, make, like, it does not make it, it kosher. The, air, the laser Fucking shoots out and like, evaporates the water and shoots I can't, off. I can't not prove it, so that means it's true, right? That's the basis for proof these days. It's not my job to show you proof. It's your job to disprove me. Yeah, exactly. Science, bitch! Everyone's a oh, fucking. I just started rewatching Breaking Bad. It's so fucking good, dude. I just started watching Ozarks. Oh, you Ozark? just started it? Yeah, season two already. It's great. It's, I've never I think I only have three seasons. It's not as great as Breaking Bad, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I love Jason Bateman. I think he's great. He's not even my favorite character. Really? Who do you like? Ruth, the woman, the wife. She's a no, t- not the wife. Fuck the wife. The curly hair young girl. Oh. The fucking poor girl. The wife's a bitch. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Yeah, she she's a. F- I, I mean, yeah, been ba- there, done that. Bateman's cool, but Bateman is no high five to that D. Bateman's no <laughs> fucking Cranston, Brian Cranston. You know, uh, I'll give you that, right? Uh, but I still. But can Bateman throw a pizza onto a roof? No, he apparently can't. Uh, Breaking Bad is just one of my all time favorites. Fucking. Uh, Better Call Saul. I haven't finished that yet. The I think they got four seasons or four. It's over. It's I done think. now. Yeah, I thought the fifth season was the end or something. Oh, I didn't know there was five. I've only seen four. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure it ended. Ah, sucks. Yeah. But yeah, I'm only in season two of rewatching fucking uh what about you? Breaking Bad. I don't really get in the shows. Wait, you don't lie. He's a murder show guy. Yeah, well, you you like some, yeah. You I like, like investigating like law and order. Or I like like thirty minutes. T Pain shows. I don't like getting in like. Then he gets. Out, I know. I, I know what you guys are talking. The What's a thirty minute show? Like Forensic Files. Cartoons. Yeah. Forensic Files. You guys are talking about all these. Never heard of that? Shows that I've I've seen like that X-Files? I can't I can't no. push play on. Forensic Files is like fucking real life murders. Murders. You watch that. Like I'll, I'll try to start and to watch something, and I'll look at my phone and be like, "Oh shit, why well, I missed half of it?" So I'll never watch that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll watch Forensic Files all day, all day long. Like you like watching cops. If it was on it's Netflix, not on TV yeah, I would. Anymore. Yeah, you have Netflix. Uh, no, and you choose Forensic no, Files. No, they say to watch. That cops is racist. They don't show it anymore. Yeah, that's no, true. It's after canceled. George Floyd, it got canceled. canceled. Yeah. You remember when they were here in Omaha, like what? And the guy six died. Years ago? Yeah, that Burger King or something. <laughs> yeah, it was a Wendy's right down the street. It was a Wendy's. Yeah, it was Wendy's. a Wendy's. Yeah, it was that one who's right down the street. Was it that one? Just straight over. Yeah. The audio boom mic operator got shot and died. Shut the in, fuck in up. In Omaha. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Two blocks from here. <laughs> that Wendy's. I was yes, just thinking about right stopping Dodge. there and getting yeah, a burger. Wendy's. Yeah. Watch out, though. the cops does. Oh, you chase this re-election. That Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah, there's like multiple Wendy's. That's all hey, I guess where Wendy's gets their never frozen beef from? Mike operators. Dead guys. Dead Dead boom guys. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, let me look over. Isn't it dumb, though, that like <laughs> beef is processed in Nebraska all the time, but like it probably goes from Nebraska to like New York City? <laughs> yeah, somewhere to like be be packaged again or whatever and then shipped back to Wendy's. Or whatever, I think traditionally you know? a lot of that happened in Chicago. I don't know if that's But still just the think case. about like every all the fucking fast food in Nebraska does not get the beef just no. from Nebraska. It they have, goes out of state first and then comes back they to They definitely it, you know? have like uh areas where you have an industrial size like this is the distributor for the Southwest, you know. That's where all the meat from McDonald's goes to or from comes mm. from it has to be processed once it's processed from the packing facility to tell you yeah. what i worked yeah, at they'll have I've, like little regional areas right i've fucking worked at meat packing plants and we fucking load trucks up with burger king patties and fucking wendy's really? patties and like yeah different things and they all go off to like not the nebraska stores they, they go the to the fucking like different things there. well there's different meat packing plants in nebraska i'm not talking about just cargill worked at other ones too Oh, well, that's what I'm saying is like, so Cargill, right? They're just fucking slaughtering everything, breaking it down, grinding up the chuck, fucking pressing a patty. Well, they send no, it. They don't do that. They shoot it all in a fucking tube. No, they probably send out just raw and um, actual patties, too. I think Cargill. Well, was, I actually, I don't know if they actually make no, patties they at don't. Cargill at it's all. It's just the bulk stuff. Yeah. Like, you get a fucking. Here's 60 pounds of beef in yeah. fucking 10 tubes. A fucking 100 pound tube. Right. Oh, that makes beef. me just thinking about that type of shit. Makes you want to start ordering from like a local farmer, getting a whole cow. 55. Anybody want to go in on a cow with me this year? Uh, yeah. There's a place here the in auction. South Omaha. Get a whole tube. Yeah. They'll, yeah, I've seen it on 24th Street. Uh, yeah. Uh, right kind by, of a little bit further north. I got a pig from there this year. Yeah. Right when all the Good. COVID shit started happening. I walked in there. Went to the back room. I said, I'll take that one. Five minutes later, they came and got me from the waiting lobby. And they had the pig all gutted and skinned. And he's like, all right, what do you want? And then just started running it through their bandsaw. And I walked. I got out of there in 45 minutes. What would you pay? Uh, like 215 Wow, I was thinking 300 like or more. For a whole pig. Whole pig. And I fucking got home and just so started had deep freeze. immediately processing it. You know, like breaking it down into sausage and... Uh, I made some hams. I made bacon, like all kinds of shit. Hmm. But uh, we had some at that fucking. Oh yeah, I know you. Be, I know you fed it to me. Yeah. Uh, you want to hear my a sad, sausage, yeah. bitch? <laughs> want to hear a sad story I'm about that? Pretty sure I have some of your sausage in my freezer. You know the pig's name? Uh, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was said. <laughs> no, uh, fucking Baby. the freezer got unplugged. Oh, how much what? did you lose? About 50 pounds. Turned off or whatever in the blackouts? Uh, no, it just... the Somebody tripped over a plug or something? Yes, yes. Oh, Got damn. unplugged. And I, w- I don't go in the garage a lot 
Do you blame Do you blame Liz or you, you blame the, dog. the dogs? I blame myself. Drunk Jeff. I'm Pro- sorry. Probably I accurate. Am. Probably accurate. I think what actually happened is I unplugged it to plug something else back in, finished what I was doing. Got and stoned. Fucking, yeah, got stoned. And forgot to plug it back in, and I went down there a week later, and I was like, what's that smell? Oh, fuck. Mm, <laughs> this was a couple months ago or what? Yeah. Even over yeah. the winter, I don't. I don't know what they give you when you when you buy like an animal like that. But uh, shit, dude, you want to go on for a cow? I'd pay. I'd pay more if you if you can process it and make some ground meat too. Oh yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> the cows are like between like thirteen and fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah, all you need is a deep freeze. Good whole to go, cow. dude. Cow. That's a whole cow though. Right. Yeah, that, that's enough that's to last fucking... you probably over a year, honestly, dude. Depending over on how that. much you're eating. Over that's that. like a dollar. I don't eat much beef at home, personally. Yeah, pound. that's the thing. that you, You're not going to eat that much beef. I you eat, know, you're gonna I eat a lot fucking, of chicken. I eat beef when go, I go out and eat chicken at home. So that's the nice thing about this place. Is you can walk there, walk in there and get anything. They, they got sell chicken? Rabbits, <laughs> live chickens, fucking. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I eat chickens. chickens. They got I eat chickens when goats, I'm at home. I want chickens. Lambs, pigs. Live yeah, Codes. when you go in there, like you pick the live animal. One you want. side of the building is live animals, oh. and you walk in there. I'll go. I'll take that one. I'll take that so one. I don't think I could one. like just go. Nice. Chop so you could literally out. go buy like a chicken, but I want you to take that chicken, shove it into that pig, and then put that pig into that <laughs> side of that cow. Style. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Hmm. Yeah, and then like I said, so one side's the feed. Let's lot, go. And then the other side <laughs> is it looks just like the inside of Cargill. I want to chuck pig in. So like all concrete, fucking just tables with band saws and fucking shit, fucking hanging from the ceiling. On Did, if you pay extra, they're like, you want to cut your animal? <laughs> uh, I didn't ask about that, but yeah. I mean, they'll let you have everything. They got, like, they, yeah. You, you want, want some hooves? Your... You can take the hooves. Seriously, you want like... to cut your fucking goat's head off, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> they were surprised that I didn't want the skin, but no. it's just, like, right. just like I had enough work on my hands with fucking two hundred pounds of pork. What the fuck you can do with skin? How okay. much does that skin weigh? Like another fifty plus? Uh, Seventy maybe. On a pig? 20, no, twenty pounds. Yeah. But pork, skin was a pig. Pork you rinds. You could make. Yeah, but that's a lot of hog. Work. About two hundred pounds. Fry it. Some of that hog. You got some fondue to put some pork rinds in, or what? Fry it, I guess. Pork I rinds. Know. I mean, the skin's What's... got a lot of the fat, so when you're making sausage, what if you just like gave it to your dog for like here, chew on this for a couple months? So when I do rotisserie <laughs> chickens, like I'll throw the carcasses in the crock pot, boil them down, crush them, and then I give it to the dogs. Hmm. And they love it. Oh, they. Well, that's not just like chewing on skin. No, it's it's bone meal at that point, and the leftover fucking meat on the fucking carcass but scuba dog food yeah, they're fucking dog. they're dogs though they love everything right? oh they fucking go crazy yeah actual meat but whenever you know? we're doing barbecue and stuff i'm fucking trimming up big pieces of meat like they're just in the kitchen do you have any goals this summer for your smoker something new Get to try new one. yeah well that's fine uh buy your own motherfucker well that's i keep waiting <laughs> my other buddy he's he's got a pretty nice smoker and he sucks at oh, it. Oh, he paid for it, though. Yeah, he got a really nice one for 200 bucks. Um, It's huge, so like probably twice the size of what I got. The free one you got. Yeah, no, and it's still working. I just used it a week or two ago. If I knew we were going to do this earlier, I would have smoked pork butt and bought, brought food over. But. Oh, shit. What the fuck? You didn't tell me until yesterday. I got two huge... No, pork. I told you this morning. Well, whatever. Noon. Oh, that's yesterday. Oh, we're frisbee golfing on Sunday, aren't we? Yeah. Are well, we? I don't know. Time. We can. It's going to be nice. Yeah. It's supposed to be the best day of the week. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Well, to Hummel or what? Yeah. Out north, they have the grills. The your, grills? Your girlfriend was asking us about that shit. And the then... grills? Yeah, you just see all the Asian families out there cooking shit all the time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dude, yeah. You know, Emily had us on a group message. Yeah. I've heard of this, yes. Okay. Yeah, well, I was well, like, dude, we should go to Hummel, and then, like, if you want, and I suggested the grilling, and then she came back and said, Blaine doesn't want to do anything Sunday. We're not going frolicking or grilling. Well, I figured we were going to be fucking pretty drunk on Saturday. I won't be. I'll have the kids. I'm going to the zoo, and I'll be fine. You're not going axe throwing with us? No. I don't think I'm going to make it to the axe throwing either. What about you? I'd I, I throw some axe. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, well, that's fine, but I 
Yeah, I don't know. We can go play dart or frolf. Grilling out there though takes a little fucking takes some time to get some fucking charcoal started out there and grill out. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not playing. Go get oh. some sausages. I'll be out there anyways. This is a grilling broths takes no time. Right. But it does sometimes. You just don't have a grill. You don't know. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Come grill for me on Saturday then, or Sunday. I don't care. I'm gonna be in Fremont. What time are you going? I don't know. Sunday? It's in Hummel Park. Are you getting so old? You get such a bad hangover. You can't do nothing the next day. No, I just like my no, fucking. I was being a little. I do. It's yeah. my birthday month, man. I ain't gonna do shit. I ain't gonna do shit, man. No, Your like birthday I, month. You I sound like, like Liz. The God, <laughs> God is. It's God's day. God's God. good. Oh. It's God's day, man. And you man. want me to work for you. No, I don't. <laughs> That's the thing. Come cook for me. I didn't ask you. <laughs> Play the tape. Like Play the tape. <laughs> God. Yeah, no, I said fine. Let's go frolfing. That's what I said. Yeah, it's God's. Go so frolfing. If you want to fucking grill, go grill. I don't care. I'll be there. <laughs> I think it's a perfect time for our last and final uh, commercial. Do we have another read? Uh yeah, we're getting kind of. Yeah, we're the, gonna go to the Red team. Lion located off of thirty uh, eighth and Farnham, uh, yeah, or thirty eight, thirty seventh and Farnham. I'd say it's thirty eighth probably. Oh, I think this is thirty eighth Ave right here. Uh, yeah, so that'd be thir- over. Yep, it's street thirty eighth and Avenue, guys. Red Lion, we're gonna be there. Perfect cocktail little lounge for you. Come get your box licked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you like getting your box licked, um, we can run a competition. See who does it for your best. <laughs> <laughs> I win. All it's right. Good. It's a good competition. <laughs> I, go, you, I, go, I go first, though. Because I don't want to be licking your spit, bitch. I go first and just. I ain't afraid of no spit. I'll finish you off. I'll go last. I ain't afraid of no spit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, great. I wouldn't want to go second because what if she's so tender? She's just like, uh, it tickles. Oh, that's even easier than you say one nice low slong lick, hold her hands down, and maybe you can make them just come right away and be done. I think that's when you fold her legs up and lick her fart box. Well, no, it's all one big smooth motion from the tailbone <laughs> all the way to the pelvic bone. Hey, it's, spo- it's supposed to be front to back, bud. Girls know that. Will you, that. Turn, will you turn this shit off already? We're like <laughs> talking about nonsense. What are you talking about? I don't know what's Jesus happening. fucking Christ. Excuse me. What? I thought we were going to Red Lion. Yeah, we got to sign off. Get out of my fucking way. He was lying when he said that. Oh, we got to cut the fucking oh, cake. Oh, cake. Ah. Fuck. Man, old balls. I forgot. You think it's melted? Mm, probably a little bit. He's still English. <laughs> you think it's melted? Do you think it's, you melted? Think it's, melted? You think it's melted? Do you think it's melted? Apparently, you do care about the royal family. All right, Lane's opening his fucking Some days. cake. I think she did a pretty good job on the What's decoration. The on no, I, I like the penis, man. I think penis looks good. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me I think see she the did penis. it backwards, but yeah, she did it. Let me see the good. dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks a little backwards. Hold on, let me see the dick. Hold on, let me take a oh, picture. No, 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 He's going to fucking dump it on the floor. No, that's why the, that's why the thing's still on. <laughs> we love Lane's old balls. <laughs> Open it up. Happy birthday, dick. Uh, ice cream and cake and every bite. Oh, shit. Don't spill it. Oh my god. I'm gonna fuck this fucker's this going thing. on the floor. I can't wait. I'm not moving it. I'm not and moving it. And it won't be my fault this time. Jesus, you're old. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying I'm <laughs> trying to take a fucking picture you of it. Uh yeah, I'm fucking sixty nine. <laughs> what'd, what'd you wish for? For old balls. For sixty nine. <laughs> wish granted. <laughs> Alright, open up and give you your old balls right now. Wait. I think Grape stole this person hey. in this room. Oh, I got him. <laughs> it almost oh, went down. <laughs> God damn it. I knew it was going to go You want me to take board. your headphones off? Oh, that was close. All right, is this it? Fuck you, Chase. Yeah. <laughs>
Peace. I'll stop recording there. Peace out, Allah. God bless. <laughs> <laughs>